everybody, happy Friday and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal. I didn't put on a baking shirt. <laughs> I'm new here. I forgot I have baking themed things. Um, how's everybody doing? Woo! <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Uh, tonight we are making, let me see if I can remember what it is called, whipped Christmas shortbread cookies. Hi, Mooch. And which is butt. Um, I never had these before, but I wanted a simpler cookie to make for my Christmas cookie baking. And this looked pretty simple, and it looks like it's gonna be pretty tasty. I love shortbread, and you can fancy these up with all kinds of little sprinkles. I've got a couple of Christmas themed ones I'm gonna try out tonight. So I'm excited to see how these turn out, and then I can add them next weekend. I think I'm gonna do my uh, super baking weekend where I spend like three entire days baking all the everythings and uh, send them off to everybody. So I'm trying these out this week to see if they turn out, and then I can add them to next week's uh, plan for baking. That's all. Let's get started on this. Sorry, it's been a week and a half and I forgot how to live stream. Yeah, people are saying hi. They're hi, hi, back. hi, oh, hi, hi. We missed you guys. Yes, sorry. <laughs> I didn't have to talk to anybody for a week and a half. Uh, we have a calendar. You guys want to... Oh, yes. If you guys have not seen it yet, I did post December's calendar. It is a little bit light this month. There are a couple holiday weekends, so we went a little bit light. Um, but we do have a couple episodes of this show, a couple episodes of Dantics. We've got some Pictionary coming not this next Tuesday, but the one after that, I think. Check the calendar. It is on uh, the RFS family Facebook. Oh, it's it's here. It's here. Um, but if you want to check it later when it's not on the screen, it is on the RFS family Facebook group. So make sure you're a part of that so you guys can see what we are doing. If you guys have... Hi. If you guys have not joined us for a previous... Oh, yeah. I know you're mad. Uh, for any of the previous year's New Year's Eve streams that we do, you're not going to want to miss it. Um, I know things are still a little bit iffy. Maybe you aren't going out to parties and stuff. Uh, I saw some of you on Facebook trying to figure out which way to your couch on New Year's Eve. Wear whatever you want. We don't have a dress code. You can uh, go pantsless, Chris, if that's what you want to do. I don't know if he's here, but uh, I'm sure he will be there and pantsless. Um, we will start... At, we're starting at 6 for New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> We will be celebrating for you East Coasters at 9 p.m. our time, because it will be midnight. We'll do a little countdown with you guys and everything, but we will go until midnight. <laughs> They're not happy right now. Um, so yeah, we will be doing, I don't know what we're doing. We usually tend to do some sort of food, um, at the very least for us to eat, maybe some baking, some games. Um, we'll, we'll be entertaining you guys. So make sure if you don't have any other plans, please show up for that. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Ma is here. Hello, Ma. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Kiki says, I'm happy I got to meet Dan and Nova Pen Expo and I got the rare stickers. How many of you out there got to meet Dan this past weekend? I know Katie did. I know Cyber Husky did. PJ, you already know Dan, but I know PJ was there. Um, KK was there. Nancy? I don't know who. I can't remember. Dan was rattling off all these people that were there and I don't even remember all of them. Yes, Katie did. Nancy did. Oh, Foxy Cola didn't. Hannah wishes. Um, I heard it was really, really loud, which is... Clearly not my thing, but lots of fun, lots of animals, and Dan ate uh, lots of pet treats. How many of you got to see Dan eat pet treats? <laughs> I got to see my friend Dan. I miss him so much. I know he was very excited to see you, PJ. Oh, and Jess. Jess got to meet Dan there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get started on this. We're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And don't worry. I'm sure Dan will have some stories for us later. We've also got a box um, I think it's from BRM Bug. I'm not 100% sure on that because it's got an actual name and not a screen name, but I think BRM Bug sent us a box, which we will be opening later. <laughs> uh, Drea says, hi, hi, Drea. How you doing tonight? Okay, what are we doing? Add butter to a bowl. Oh, using a handheld mixer. We don't do that. <laughs> that sounds like entirely too much work. I don't even own a handheld mixer. It is going to tangle in your hair. <laughs> well, you got to keep your hair out of it. Uh, Foxy Koala with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. It says, Dan's always eating pet treats. Yes, I did ask him. If you guys remember when we got the box from Linda from England, he ate the, the snacks, the cat snacks that she sent and uh, commented on how they were the least cornmeal tasting pet treat he'd ever eaten. So I did ask him if there was anything on par with that. And he told me that there was some uh, some homemade stuff that he really enjoyed. Uh, if you guys saw the video, the he's doing Vlogmas. If you guys haven't seen those, where are they posted, Dan? Is it just on Instagram? Facebook or and YouTube. Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, his vlog was his one minute vlog, so you guys can go see eight days, nine days of his trip. 
to see everything he did. Um, real fast paced, as Dan's things usually are. Um, you can see him eating some llama treats, fighting with llamas for their treats. Is there anything Dan won't eat? I don't think so. I Beets? Pickled beets. He has eaten them. He will not eat them again. <laughs> so that's about it. Mooch is in frame and focused on something. Um, he wants to be here. Right here, snuggled, and now is not the time. So he's just going to get as close as he can. Dreyas says, I'm doing great. Just got done finishing my fall semester. I hope everything's okay over there. Things are good. Things are good. Musical Guru says, I have made homemade shortbread before. It's kind of easy. Yeah, I saw some recipes that were literally like three, four ingredients. Super basic. Um, but most of them wanted to be refrigerated for half an hour or an hour. And I didn't want to have to factor that time in. So this one has a few more ingredients, which I think might help add in a little bit of vanilla, help the flavor and everything. Um, I like shortbread, so I think this is going to be a win. Uh, how are the cats doing? And I see, how is the kitten? If you guys haven't heard, um, there are posts on Instagram and Facebook. We lost the little kitty. Unfortunately, um, something was wrong with him. I don't know. He was fine, uh, last Monday night, the, the Monday before Dan left, the kitty was fine. And Tuesday morning, he was fine. He was snuggling with Topo. <coughs> he, uh... Went and got some water before I left. Like, he was up and moving around and doing fine. And then uh, by about 9, 10 o'clock, Dan messaged me and said he was really lethargic. So he rushed him to the vet. They uh, started trying to run tests. They, they ran a test for Parvo, which was their first uh, thing they thought it might be, which thank goodness it wasn't because that's highly contagious. Um, so everybody else is okay. Uh, <laughs> Topo and Kamiko are battling it out right now. Um but yeah, before they could even run any more tests, poor little guy was gone. Like, we were, we were ready. We were like, swipe the credit card, do whatever you gotta do, save him. Like, we were, we were attached. But um, there's a post explaining that and, and letting you guys know what happened. But yeah, he unfortunately didn't make it. He, he wasn't very big. He wasn't very old. I, I think there was something wrong with him before he came here. And he, his little body couldn't make it. We had taken him to the vet prior to that, like early on. You guys remember um, we took him and got him something for his eyes that were goopy. So the vet checked him out and didn't see anything then. Um, and it just hit suddenly. If you guys have ever dealt with really young cats, you know that sometimes that happens. It's just out of nowhere, all of a sudden, their body just gives out. So there was no no signs letting us know that anything was going to happen. And, and then he was just gone like within a couple hours. So we're, we're all pretty pretty devastated about that. But... You know, we have five other cats and everybody else is healthy. So thank goodness for that. Thank goodness it was not Parvo or something else contagious that the other cats could get. This bake is for him. Yes. <laughs> yes. These these whipped shortbread cookies are dedicated to, uh, we're, we're just going to call him Max. That They needed a name at the vet. And the only thing we even remotely agreed on was Max, even though we hadn't 100% settled on it. We weren't calling him anything but like little guy, little kitty, little baby. Um, so yeah, he, he was he was Max. So Max crossed over the rainbow bridge. We're pretty bummed. All right, let's 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 do our Max cookies. We are going to whip this butter. We're gonna whip it real good. It's a cup of butter and we're gonna do it for about three minutes. Yes, Missy Fan named Jen, at least he got to be your kitten for a little time. He didn't die outside in the cold. Yes, he got loved, he got snuggled, he got kitten food and, and snacks and he got to make friends, and he had a good life for the three weeks that he was here. So I'm, I'm happy about that more than anything else. He wasn't out in the cold, and it's been getting chilly. You guys know we live in the desert. We don't have a whole lot of, like, weather, but it's been getting chilly for sure. So at least he was warm and, and snuggly. The snuggliest he could have ever been. The little guy slept right here every night. Like, he was as warm and snuggly as he could have been. Uh, beer and bug, I agree. Damn it. Absolutely. Absolutely. He got the best little kitten life he could have had. Absolutely. <laughs> Christmas cookie time. Yes. You guys, um, these can be made. I saw some pictures when I was trying to find the, the right recipe that I wanted to use. You guys can make these any time of year. You can use any sort of, I saw them with like M&Ms or um, other little like bite-sized candies or colored sprinkles or anything. I'm only doing them Christmas themed because it's December and that's what we do. Uh, but you can definitely make these any time of year. I'm really excited for these cookies. Are you, do you like shortbread, man? Uh, I don't know, maybe. You don't know? Well, I don't know what that means. It's just like a basic, like. Is it a sugar cookie? No, sugar cookie's a sugar cookie. Shortbread is a, uh, I don't know, let me think. The, uh, uh, my Aunt Terry's recipe for the almond mocha cookies, where it's like chocolate and, and almond on the top of it, and the cookie on the bottom is 
Um, I guess I guess we'll find out. I'm sure we'll I will, but out. I don't recall. You'll, you'll eat anything. I don't. It's re- better than a llama snack. I don't recall what they are. <laughs> Megan is having a drink in honor of the kitten. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Amanda says it rained last night and only got up to 65 degrees today. Yeah, the last couple of days we got rain uh, Tuesday and Thursday, and then the last couple of days have been pretty chilly. We've been in like the 50s and 60s. So it's you know that's our our winter. A uh, musical guru. Yes, it, it's a butter cookie basically. Oh, okay. So a sugar cookie. No, sugar cookies are sugar. You'll see it's different. It's different. Uh, Jess with the super chat. Thank you, friend. I'm so excited for Christmas snacks. Merry Christmas, friends. Yes, you will be getting a box of our Christmas snacks, Jess. Don't you worry. We'll be sending some out your way. Uh, I sat down this week and started trying to make my list, and that's where I got distracted with this recipe and decided I wanted to try this out. So next weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next week I am making a gingerbread loaf. It's a, I think the one I chose is the Starbucks copycat recipe. I could be wrong on that. Um, But it's a gingerbread loaf. I don't know if I like gingerbread. Like, we've purchased and made gingerbread houses, but nobody ever eats those things. Like, raise your hand if you ever ate a gingerbread house. I don't like gingerbread. No? I don't like it. Okay, that's fair. Um, But you've only ever had gingerbread cookies, right? The loaf has, like, an icing on top. It looks pretty good, so we will see. Uh, Behind the Grand Adventure says, Oh, where do we send Christmas cards? The uh, address to our P.O. Box should be in the description of the video down below. I also made a post... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have something stuck in my throat. Uh, Christine posted asking for the address, and I posted it, and you guys, I made a little typo in there. All it was was a capital I, like somewhere in there that shouldn't have been, but I didn't realize it until someone else commented on it, and I clicked to see the comment, and then saw that. So I did make another post. If you're part of the RFS family Facebook group, you can go on there, and uh, I did post the, the address there. So if you guys have not heard, you can send us any sort of holiday card. Christmas, not all of us celebrate Christmas, any sort of like holiday greeting card, whatever, within the next month or so. We did go to the uh, P.O. Box and we got a, a fast stack of them, so we will be going through those this weekend, and we will send you out a postcard. We've got a uh, special themed postcards. You guys are going to be pretty excited to get, I think. Ooh, Hannah has a package heading our way. I'm excited. What else is going to Oh, yes, if you guys have not seen yet, I don't know why this one's all curly, uh, this is the postcard you're going to get. You will get a postcard with the chocolate chip cookie recipe on it. So not just some postcard you're going to stick on your fridge or on your mantle for a couple weeks and then, oh, Christmas is over, I'll throw it away. Y'all can stick this in your recipe book and use this forever. And it already looks all aged, so you don't have to worry about spilling stuff on it, but it is glossy to help protect it. Dan and I designed these ourselves. Uh, Marie Pepper says, I already sent my Christmas card out to you both. Yes, I think we did get one from you. I, I flipped through and saw who they were from, but I didn't want to open them until I can write down the addresses just to make sure we don't mix up who's is what. Uh, Megan says, I love the cards. I'm pretty excited about them. I'm excited that it's something useful that hopefully you guys will hang on to because I hate, I hate throwing away Christmas cards. Like, somebody put some thought into that, and like, especially when somebody takes the time to write a note, but then do you save them? Like, after a bunch of years, then you just have a million cards, so what do you do? Photo cards are a little easier. You save those, and, and then you have, you know, people's family photos for the year, but hopefully this will give you guys a reason to keep them. Amanda, thank you for the super chat, friend. I appreciate it. Knows from experience, the cookie recipe is freaking amazing. Yes, uh, if you guys watched that episode of heard me talk about it, I've made so many different challenges with cookie recipes. That's the one I love. That's, that's a good go-to base, and I even talked about it when I made the cranberry, white chocolate, orange uh, cookies for Thanksgiving. I would rather use that base for any kind of cookie. Whatever you want to put in a cookie, use that base. Whatever kind of candies or chips or whatever you're going to put in it, use that chocolate chip cookie base because it is an amazing texture and flavor, and it, it's just the best. Uh, Megan sent a Christmas card to my life so far vlogs. Send mine with uh, a sticker and extra stamps. Awesome. I'm excited. I could feel some of them had stuff in them, but like I said, I didn't want to open them and mix up envelopes from cards and stuff because that started to happen a little bit last year. So we're going to be more organized with it this year. Make sure uh, we get everybody's everything uh, sent out to them. Amanda says, I feel the same way about cards. I not, I'm not sure what to do with them. Yes. For a while, I would save them thinking, like, I'm going to make some sort of craft project. This one's really pretty. I'm going to, like, frame it or do something. Um, spoiler, never did that. 
ever, ever. Uh, for Blake, I did save, uh, one thing that I have from when I was a kid was like a couple cards from my grandma who passed away, like when I was pretty young. And that's kind of a neat thing to do, uh, or to have around. So I bought Blake like a, a photo box thing, like for keeping your photos in, and saved cards from, from grandmas and aunts and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's a reason to save those, but. What'd your grandma's card say, have a bitch in summer? <laughs> no, absolutely not. My very uh, Catholic Italian grandma probably never said have a bitch in summer. Although, fun fact, her name was Mafalda and uh, went by Muffy. So I had a grandma Muffy, in case you guys never knew that. Grandma Muff. Uh, who was a diver in her spare time. <laughs> shut your mouth. Right? Wasn't she a diver? <laughs> you shut your mouth. All right, this is getting pretty light and fluffy. It said three minutes. I uh, did not check the clock. I forgot how to do this, so I'm just winging it, but I do see it getting softer and fluffier. If you make this, you do want to make sure you let your butter soften uh, down to room temperature. You don't want to take it straight out of the fridge and do this, or it's not going to work. Yes, if you have cards from your family members who are deceased, save them. It's Wait, really neat to see that. If my dad dad's dad sending me a card, I'm <laughs> going to be freaked out. No, cards that you saved from when they were alive. Well, how do I know when they're going to die? You just save, like, one or two cards, like, so you have that, that handwriting. Okay, I think this is getting good. Okay, it's about time to add our dry ingredients, but as always, I'm gonna mix them in a bowl uh, separately so that I can mix them together evenly. <laughs> and this is going to be the flour, cornstarch, powdered sugar, and vanilla. Oh my gosh, you guys. So Terry came on Thursday night. She got here late Thursday night. And we just hung out a little bit until it was bedtime. Friday, we got up kind of lazily and spent the whole day shopping. Like we went to so many stores, all, all the stores, all the stores. Um, of course, my favorites, Home Goods, uh, Aldi, TJ Maxx. I think we even hit a Ross in there. And remember my favorite vanilla that I'm almost completely out of? I found it again. I was a little disappointed because this one was $7 and the littler ones were six bucks, but I wiped the shelf out. I bought. Uh, all three of them they had. I was very excited to find it because this has been my favorite vanilla. Uh, is your P.O. box on Facebook? Yes, Drea, there is a post on Facebook where I let you guys know that I made a typo when I had posted it. It's correct. It's down in the description of the, the video underneath wherever you're watching. Um, it is there, but when I typed it on Facebook, I made a typo. So then I made a, a separate post. So it is on there. It's on rfsdan.com. And rfsdan.com. You can find it on all our stuff. There, There's a way to find it. Look around. You'll find it. Okay, so I need a quarter cup and a half a cup. <clears throat> so we are going to do one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. cup of cornstarch. This might be the most cornstarch I've ever put in a recipe. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, in the real life says I have cards from both my grandmas so I can remember their handwriting. That's the really neat thing to me just to see like, oh, this is how these people wrote and like you have a memory of that forever and ever. My uh, my grandma has your your standard grandma cursive writing that's real like tight and almost illegible to people that are alive today. My grandpa on my dad's side always wrote in all caps, which I think is really like interesting. Okay, oh god, that's a lot of cornstarch. So much cornstarch. It's jumping, it's jumping. Um, I Love So Far Vlog says, at the end of my yearly journal, I glue two pages together to create a pocket and put all my Christmas cards in it so when I look back at the journal, I can see the cards too. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. I like that. <clears throat> oh, and I need half a cup for powdered sugar. Hannah says, I included my card in the package. Awesome. Good deal. 
Mel Shane's hoping to send a pa send y'all a package next week sometime. Awesome. We will be checking the post office, uh, the P.O. box, more often than usual since I was pretty surprised when I went and there was already a whole stack of cards in there. Usually there's a, a couple of things and I'm thinking, you know, if you guys have ever had a P.O. box, they're tiny. Like the, the basic one. I mean, if you're getting tons of stuff, you can get like a big giant one, but there are tiny little boxes that are like the size of an envelope and it was stuffed full. There was something in there that was not for us. It was for a different P.O. box number and they just stuck in ours. And uh, it was for... Can you help us sister out? Like that was the name of the company and I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Foxy Quilla says, I sent mine to your house, not the P.O. Box. Don't worry, we check our house mail too. Sometimes. Okay, flour, cornstarch, powdered sugar, and then we'll add the vanilla to the liquidy part of things. How much vanilla is it? Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh my gosh, so I did a bunch of baking with Terry. And one of my measuring spoons is gone. And I can't figure out if it was gone before I started baking or if I lost it when I was baking and I have no idea where it went. Is and it on the ones that are up there? No. I have no, like I looked at all the places, like maybe we put it away wrong. So I looked at all the places it might be and it's not in any of those places. So heads up, there's a tiny measuring spoon somewhere that's missing. Weird. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cause they don't go anywhere. They go here, they go here, they go back here again. <laughs> like they go in this drawer. They're only in this space. So I can't imagine where it could have gone. <laughs> Hannah says, oh yeah, the package is going to your house. Awesome. Uh, Dan is here, so he will get it. And Katie says, Dan got my package at Novi. Yes, yes. Uh, we will we will show off all the things. I want to get these in the oven and then we'll uh, we'll do some hanging out. Okay, so let me get the vanilla into here since it's liquidy. And for this, I'm going to use my good vanilla. You guys have heard me talk about it before. I do use the imitation vanilla because it's cheaper uh, in things that you're not going to really taste the vanilla flavor. I think because there's not much going on here except like flour, powdered sugar, and butter and the cornstarch. None of those really have a distinct flavor except sugar and butter, I guess. Um, I do want to use the, the real vanilla extract to really add good flavor to these cookies. Oops. Measure with your heart. <laughs> Topo might know where it went. Uh, not going to lie, my first instinct once I realized it was not in this area was like, did it go under one of the cupboards somewhere? Like, where did it get shoved? Somebody smacked it somewhere. It fell down. No idea. Did you check the drain? I did. I even stuck my hand in it, which is not something I ever do. Um, I watched Final Destination. I am not putting my hand down the garbage disposal. There's six of those. But all of them are on Netflix right now. Are they? Should we binge watch? Uh, I'd rather <laughs> Should we binge watch A Thousand Ways to Die? Because <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Uh, yeah, I, I saw the first two, but I don't remember like four, five, and six. I think I've seen them all. Even six? It's like that? Uh, I think it got to the point where one of them was called The Final Destination. Right. I'd have to like have a reminder. <laughs> Dr. Antroy says it's with the tortilla Dan flung. Check under the oven. Yes. <laughs> you baked without us? Sorry, sometimes I make snacks. Like, just for me to eat. Look, my bestie was here. I had to make her some deliciousness. She hadn't had the, uh, the ube brownies yet. So I made uh, ube brownies and chocolate cookies with my amazing, delicious uh, caramel chips. Thanks, Sam. Hannah says, I'd binge watch with you. I tried to get Blake into it. So when Blake was younger and more impressionable, I could suggest things. Uh, he really liked the Paranormal Activity movies for a while. Um, was really into, I think we watched the first Final Destination. He was all about it. Was the second one the one with the, the, the kid at the dentist's office? I think that was the I, second I one. I think that's the one there on the roller coaster. Right. Was that the second one? Yeah. Um, I think. we got to the kid at the dentist's office and when he came out and uh, spoiler for even though it's like 20 years old, when he came out and his death happened, Blake was done. I think that scene was a little too real for him and he did not want to watch it anymore. He made me shut it off and we never watched another Final Destination. <laughs> yeah, this is the only horror movies I'll watch. Um, which is weird because they're the most realistic as far as like 
these things could really happen. Like, I guess a lot of things in horror movies could happen, but most of these things in Final Destination are a little more likely. Still don't drive behind trucks full of logs. Or anything, for that matter. <laughs> My Lesson Adventure is traumatized by Final Destination movies. I think a lot of people are. I think anybody who's ever seen a Final the Final Destination, the first movie, uh, does not drive behind a truck with logs or anything like that. Uh, Charlotte says, is it, is it anything like the, mis the Great Mystery of Missing Socks? I still haven't figured that one out. Um, I have seen people take apart their dryers and they're like inside. Like somehow it gets through the back of the drum or something. So have you taken apart your dryer? They might be in there. Katie says, I accidentally put a spoon in the garbage disposal. Oh my gosh. Childhood trauma. Um, that would happen all the time as a kid, like in my house when I was a kid, and we always had spoons that were like jagged on the edges, and they would like cut the corners of your mouth if you weren't careful. So I am very, very careful about spoons in the garbage disposal. trying to scrape the stuff off the sides here. This is very thick and very buttery. Uh, whoever said they are a butter cookie? Yeah, I don't I don't know why they're not just called butter cookies. It was almost all butter. I'm gonna move this to the side. There we go. Uh, Noah Nori says, hello, Crystal, and maybe Dan. Yes, Dan is here. I'm here. I might let him come on camera to tell you guys some stories later. But right now we are making some whipped shortbread cookies. These would be fun, I think, if you guys have kids. Much like a sugar cookie um, that you can decorate in any way you want. But sugar cookies are a little um, messy as far as like getting the icing and, and it gets everywhere. If you want something simpler that you can do with kids, I think this would be a good one. Because <laughs> you can make the cookies and then just let them throw sprinkles all over them, and they would have fun with that. Uh, Hannah found red velvet donuts at Kroger today. I am sorry. <laughs> uh, Steve likes my I bake because punchy meatball is frowned upon. Yes, isn't it great? That's been on there for like ever. Long before I ever found shirts that had that. The, the texture of this is kind of reminiscent of Play-Doh. Not gonna lie. Vera Mike says, oh, if you want to talk about movies that scarred you for life, the 80s version of The Blob. I saw that thing eat a kid on broadcast TV. I don't know that I ever saw that. I don't recall, at least not like at a time when I remember it. Certainly didn't traumatize me if I did. <laughs> Missy fan named Jen asked if the Red Velvet Donuts were a lie. Anna? With the only right answer, yes, they were. I want to like it. It's so pretty and vibrant. So I made the, the ube brownies and I brought them into work this time. I don't think I did last time. Because then I had to go around and be like, hey, I made these brownies and they're purple. And everybody's like, but what is it? And then I had to explain to everybody what ube was. And they looked at it kind of weird. And then they tasted it and they all loved it. Everybody that tried one that thought they were amazing. Now my hands are all buttery. Musical Guru says, I know so much about shortbread because I made it for almost a year each month for my cousin. What a lucky cousin. What did they do to deserve that? Miles Week Adventure, hush, I love red velvet, but more love blue velvet. Look, I don't hate it. Like, if that's the only option, I might eat it. It just tastes like nothing. Tastes but like why not nothing. have chocolate? <laughs> like... I'd rather just have a chocolate cake. All right, so if you guys can see this, it is kind of like, like Play-Doh-y or, what's that other stuff you make that you can make like ornaments out of? It's like salt dough or something. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Definitely not very appetizing looking as is. Um, like chocolate chip cookies, I'm sticking my fingers in and eating the dough. Probably more than I am uh, making cookies out of it. 
this, I will not have that problem. Uh, PJ says, my dad walked out of the theater on the visit. Is that the one where they go to the grandparents' house? The kids go and visit the grandparents? Yeah, that was a creepy one. I liked that one. It was creepy. I liked it. I thought that one was really well done. Um, I knew the the whole plot before I watched it, which was really disappointing. I wish I had gone in not knowing. I did not. If you guys want to watch a really interesting story that's a scary but in a creepy way, not not... Not super, like, murder-heavy, not gory at all. Um, that was a really good movie. I don't want to tell you anything more about it, but if you're into scary movies... Uh, kids go spend the good. weekend at creepy grandparents' house. Yes. That, that's it. Yeah, I think a couple times I WTF'd out loud. <laughs> I loved it. I thought that one was really good. Uh, Wolfie says, I'm more of a German chocolate cake kind of guy. <laughs> We've made that on the show. Not the biggest fan. I, but I don't like coconut. But I've had German chocolate cake and German chocolate cake flavored things that I like. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. But it has to be done a certain way. I don't want to just eat raw coconut. Okay, so let's see. We are going to portion about a tablespoon of dough. They recommend a small ice cream type scoop to get even amounts of dough for each cookie. We're going to roll it into a ball and place it on the cookie sheet, leaving two inches of space in between them. Then we're gonna mash it with a fork, like how you do with a peanut butter cookie, but instead of going both ways, you're just gonna go one way. Then we'll put sprinkles on it. Uh, Mouse Queen says, guess we're just getting started tonight. Uh, we are making whipped shortbread cookies. I'm gonna get these in the oven, and then we've got uh, some other stuff going on. Dan is back from Michigan. I'm sure he's got some stories for us. We've got a box to open, and uh, we're just hanging out with you guys. PJ says, I'm allergic to coconut. Then you have a great excuse not to eat it. I almost wish I was, so that I didn't have to eat it. You just take the cocoa part out. <laughs> All right, so this one looks like it's about a tablespoon. I kind of want them to be really even, and I usually am just a like scooper and eyeball it kind of thing. But the pictures I saw of these when they're all even and perfect look really good, so I'm gonna try to replicate that. <laughs> that sneeze had so much buildup, and then there was no noise. <laughs> oh, I suppressed it. Uh, Mouse Queen is officially dipping her foot in the Instagram pool. Welcome, friend. Uh, please add us. Make sure you go follow RFS Cats, Getting Baked with Crystal. And on Instagram, I am Crystal Lee, spelled K R I S T U L underscore L E E. Only because it's never taken anywhere you go. Oh, yeah, and I guess you can follow that Dan guy too if you want. Uh, Beer and Bug says, depending on how they come out, you should put some strawberry or raspberry jam in the middle of the cookie. Oh my god, one of my guilty pleasures is those, like, dollar bags. We get them at the, the Viarda supermarket out here. Those dollar bags, I think I have some. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Because I know that uh, Knott's makes them as well, like Knott's Berry Farm. But I like the cheap ones from the Mexican grocery store. <laughs> These cookies. I freaking love these. And I think it is the same kind of cookie. It's a shortbread cookie with just a little blob of, I think, uh, strawberry. Yeah. I love these. I haven't actually made that. No, you know what? One time I did make uh, thumbprint cookies. I think where you just mash your thumb into it. And then you... uh pop a little bit of jelly in there. But no, tonight we'll just be doing sprinkles. I want to keep this simple. Kind of getting back into the swing of live streaming. It's been a while since I've hung out with you guys. So I just want to make a, a simple recipe. Mooch is blending into the bed. I bought him a bed that's like teal colored because specifically because I was like, oh, this is going to look so much better on camera and it'll contrast better with Mooch and he won't blend into it. He hates it. I don't know that he's ever actually laid in it. Topo, on the other hand, loves it. Rizzo spent the last week... Uh, <laughs> Topo really loves it, if you get what I mean. Uh, Rizzo spent the last week sleeping in it pretty much daily for hours at a time. But yeah, Mooch, Mooch is not a fan. So I, I tried to make better contrast for you guys so it would be visually more appealing. But he, uh, he said no. Grumpy old man loves his... 
lumpy bed. It's old. It's lumpy. It's been washed so many times. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to wash a pillow or something and, or like maybe a cheap comforter and it just gets all clumpy and lumpy in there. That's what's going on with this pillow or his bed. He loves it. I thought about buying him the exact same one, but I'm not sure if it'll be the same. Uh, Marco says, I'm getting reports that the moon and some other planets are aligning tonight. Which other planets? And can you see them from here? What does that mean? Uh, stuff's going down. I don't know. I don't know. KK says, you should make macaron macarons sometime. Um... I have heard those are pretty darn complicated and I have not felt brave enough. Maybe, maybe some point. We'll see what 2022 brings. I've really been enjoying, um, you know, when I started this, I really wanted to show you guys the recipes that I know and love. And you've seen most of them. There's, I got a few more up my sleeve that I haven't shown you guys that I, I really like. I've been really enjoying trying new recipes because I don't do that a whole lot. Every once in a while I'll be like, oh, I have, you know, apricots. Let me, let me find a recipe I can use for this or whatever. But for the most part, I have my tried and true recipes and I stick to those. I've been having a lot of fun trying new recipes with this. So I think there's going to be a lot more new recipes coming next uh, next year. Mouse Queen with her member super chat. Woo, 13 months. I'm on Instagram. Just look for Magic Mouse 86 on Insta. Oh my gosh, now everybody's going to go follow you. Um, will it be more of a personal account or are you using it to highlight and showcase your art? Please say art. I, I, I don't not want to see your personal life. I want to see more of your art. If you guys haven't joined us for one of our uh, paint nights, I think that's where Mouse usually shows off her art. Uh, you can see some of her drawings in the RFS Family Facebook group. She posts them there as well, and she's very, very talented. <laughs> Sorry, how did you just pronounce apricots? <laughs> Apricot? 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 How do you, how do you say it? <laughs> what did I say? Did I say apricot? I, my instinct is to say apricot? I don't know. You're making me self-conscious. Oh my gosh. Sorry if I offended you with my apricots. I don't think I say apricot right. What did I say? <laughs> is the dough mooch approved? Um, this is very sugary and buttery. I'm sure he would love it, but um, right now he's uh, enjoying himself. <laughs> and I saw that, but I, you took it away before I could read it. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus have lined up in the evening sky and will continue to be prominent features throughout most of December, but this week the trio will get a visitor, the Geminid Meteors. But like, do I just go outside and look at the dots in the sky, or is everybody going to start acting a fool? <laughs> no, that's is only it, when Mercury's in retrograde. Is it, yeah, I was going to say, is it a cue for depression? What, what's, what's going on? <laughs> I think it's just visually neat, because they're all lined up. Uh, Hannah said apricot. You said apricot. Yeah, that's how I say it. Um, I don't like apricot because an ape is a monkey. I'm not eating monkey fruit. Yeah, you don't want the monkey's cot? <laughs> I don't want the monkey's cot. <laughs> I'm good. It's an apricot. I don't know. Uh, Mouse Queen says, this has been my personal one, but it doesn't have anything else on it, so it may just become an art insta. From what I've seen of artists, um... Most of them tend to have a personal and I, I follow a lot of artists. That's when I first got Instagram, I followed it for art. Like if I wanted to see what you're doing in your life, I'll follow you on Facebook. And I just started following a bunch of artists and that's pretty much all I followed. Now I've got some people in there too. Um, but most of them seem to have a personal and an art one. So you can just really highlight your art and focus on that. Some people don't care about your personal life. Not you personally, but like as an artist, um, so people don't care about an artist's personal life and they just want to see the art. So it might be a good idea to keep that separated. You know, highlight yourself here and there so people know who you are. Okay, I think those are mostly even. Hannah says, agree to disagree. All right, enjoy your ape cots. 
Mouse Queen with a super chat, thank you, friend. May definitely start a separate one for sure. It would be neat to just have all your, like, it really focuses your attention so people can see, like, oh, this is an artist. And like I said, I followed only artists. So if people are into that sort of thing, that's where they find you. Um, and so far vlog says, south of Venus is Comet Leonard. Leonard? Yeah. Uh, which won't be back for 80,000 years. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot. Okay, so. If you guys can see, I'm just mashing it one way. Like I said, like you do with a, a peanut butter cookie, but just one direction. Kind of like that one band. I think it said to dip my fork in powdered sugar, too. I guess I should do that. I think that makes it not stick so much. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. Pro tip, if you guys are doing this, dip your fork in powdered sugar. Otherwise, it kind of wants to lift the cookie and you have to mash it back down. Yeah, one cookie per dip. Yeah, it says, well, I won't because I don't like them. But you know what I mean, damn it. <laughs> uh, Wilton agrees. Yes, I have a personal one and an art one and a ton of cat ones. Yeah, I had to keep the, the cats separated from the baking and the me and the everything else. It just helps to focus and I feel like you can find a better audience that way because it's more focused on the one specific thing that people can be into. And then if they're into you too, then they can go follow your personal one too. Okay, so there's that step. I'm gonna keep this handy so I can do it again with the rest of the dough. Uh, Mouse with the super chat says, I also have a Facebook art page called Pause for Thought. Oh, I like that. Just look for the beagle surrounded by pooled blue clothes. Oh, that combination of words was hard to get out of my mouth. Pooled blue clothes. <laughs> Doesn't flow very well. Uh, Hilo the Husky is here. Hi, hi, hello, friend. Okay, so we're going to do some different things. I don't want to just pour right on the cookies because I don't want them to go everywhere. So this is kind of neat. You just kind of fill the little trough. I poured way too much of this in my hand. If you guys are looking for holiday sprinkles, you know I'm always talking about how great the places like uh, TJ Maxx and Home Goods and stuff are. But no joke, this was $1.50. You can find, check the clearance section or even in the regular section, like the regular price was $2.99, which is cheaper than most stores. Uh, sprinkles before they bake. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise if you, if you bake them and then you put the sprinkles on, they're not going to stick. So you have to put the sprinkles on first. And then the, the cookie dough is going to rise up and it'll kind of set in there. Does the Dan get to decorate? I don't know. Does the Dan want to decorate? Are you doing something now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just putting sprinkles on. Oh, yeah. No, you're okay. Nope. Nope. The Dan doesn't my, want to decorate. My, my sprinkling is more emerald style. Bam. Yeah. He's just going to come over here and like fling things everywhere. So maybe that's not the best idea. Have you met Dan? I really like sprinkles, so I'm trying to really fill the troughs. I like your fork action. looks good. Thanks. This one uh, didn't work very well. I should have forked it again. I think I'm going to go back. So definitely use the, uh, the powdered sugar trick, because the ones that I didn't do that on are not very troughy. You want to kind of have it... If you just put it on the cookie, it's just going to roll right off. There we go. Yeah, that powdered sugar definitely helps it stay down and makes more of a trough for you to put the sprinkles in. 
Um, also, the super chat, thank you, friend. The clothing is all over the place because this particular beagle used to be a human. And humans are messy. That they are. I think that's good. If you have Tuesday morning stores, they have cheap sprinkles. We used to have one and uh, it closed. Did it? Yeah, we had one over in Palmdale over by uh, the BevMo. Yeah. Like around the corner there. Yeah, it's something else weird, like a... I think it's a man store now, like a Bass Pro or... Yeah, I think a golf place. Golf. Or yeah, it's something something I don't want to go into, but yeah, we used to have one. All I remember, I used to go in there, and all I remember is it was always so messy. There was just, like, stuff on the floor all the time, like... Which is not, like, the company's fault. They just had lazy employees, I guess, but... Uh, there, uh, there used to be a parent-teacher aid. Remember those places? I do remember that, yes. Those gotta be gone by now. They're still teachers. Yeah, but those stores are gone. Maybe out here? They've got to still exist, though, right? I would think so. All right, let's do some green. Oh, well, Hannah with the super chat. Just wanted to say I love you guys and thanks for everything you do. Aw, thanks, friend. We love you, too. We missed you guys. I mean, Dan got to meet a bunch of you guys, but... I mean, my friend came for the weekend, and then I just kind of hung out with Blake and got stuff done around the house. Uh, Noah Nori wants to know if you have seen the second Sonic movie trailer, Dan. I have not, but I just wrote that down. Did you? Because I... I am. I do want it. Because now you know it. that it's a thing. Yeah, if you guys listen to our podcast, we were really hard on the first Sonic trailer. Uh, then they made all those changes to make him look like Sonic because it didn't look like Sonic. They went back and made all the changes, and then the movie was actually good. I we it watched it. Yeah, yeah, it was watchable. So I'm 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 kind of curious. Um, I believe they set up. I don't recall, but I believe my memory says that they set up for a second one. I think this one has little trees in it. Oh, it does. How cute. Uh, so I'm 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 hopeful now. I have not seen anything of it. I'm busy trying to wipe the nasty taste out of my mouth of this Matrix rebooted that's coming out. Oh my gosh, my new favorite worst actor ever, Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, he's the worst. If any of you guys in the chat can can find a way to be like, wow, his acting just seems like really good, especially in this new Matrix movie or the last Bill and Ted movie. The guy is stiff as Did heck. You, you know, the movie's not out yet, is no, it? No, it comes out like I think all the. I'm not sure, but I thought, like, they come out at Christmas time, like the Matrix movie. Like a week of movie. Christmas or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Which, The Matrix was great in 99, but technology has gone so far that the concept of The Matrix isn't quite that far off from what we have today with VR stuff. And, right. You know. Uh, so, yeah, like, he's my new, like, oh, my gosh, dude, like, you're the worst. Shame on you, Dan. Are you saying that you're a Keanu lover? Are you a sad Keanu lover? I should have mashed this cookie better. It's going to be a sad one. All right, I got all those. I should have done some math because... Uh, Kristen Stewart in Twilight's a better actress than Keanu. Oh, no. Yeah, at least she's <laughs> She's got, the worst. At least she's got, like... She's got this face. Yeah, but so does All he, the time, except no for what. his face is stiff through his neck and his shoulders. I'll give you that. She's still worse. I just, that's fine that you love him. Like, and, and I love Keanu Reeves too. <laughs> Bill and Ted was amazing. Like, I love Bill and Ted. Speed, I liked Speed. That was a good movie with him and Sandra Bullock where the bus couldn't go under 55. I did not shoot like the ho Shoot the hostage. Or like... Point Blake, I'm an FBI agent. But like, all of a sudden, he just like but, was abducted. I mean, he was like abducted by UFOs and came back like lobotomized. And he hasn't done anything. Had a rough life, man. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. But you love Bill and Ted. Not the last one. The last one, his daughter in the movie did a better Keanu impression than he did. <laughs> he forgot how to act. See, Jess, are you on my? Thanks, Jess. See. He was good back in the day. Yes, I, Speed was good, and Bill and Ted was good, but then something happened. Like, he got all, like, self-conscious or something, or it's like, he doesn't know what to do with his hands, like Ricky well, Bobby. people are over there taking pictures of him eating sandwiches. Like, leave the guy alone. Oh, my gosh, he's a public figure. <laughs> um, 
I have 20 cookies here and five toppings, and I only did three of each, and I should have done four. So now I have to go back with each topping because I don't have any more. I mean, I have a, don't get me wrong, I have a ton more sprinkles. Like half of one of my shelves in my baking cupboard, no joke, is sprinkles. And I don't even use sprinkles that much. I'm just obsessed with sprinkles. My problem is, is that I, I'm a, Keanu Reeves has now made me say something that I never wanted to say in my life. Uh oh. Um, your eyes have rolled back in your head. Nicholas Cage is a better actor than Keanu. Reeves. Oh my god, no, no. <laughs> Which movie are we talking about, though? Oh, the one where he talks like he's uh, in ingested helium. <laughs> Which one's that? Uh, from way back in the day. Cowboys love the blues. Cowboys. Uh, there's one where he's like talking like this way back in old Keanu. I think you even like that movie. Are you talking yes, about I am. Peggy Sue gets married? Is that what it is? <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh, I Con like Air, Con shit. <laughs> I like Con. I like Con Air though. I. I mean, I guess <laughs> you're, get, you're getting noped. The, and take it back. No way. Like the worst thing that the worst thing, the worst acting ever was when. Uh, Nicholas Cage did uh, did Ghost Rider. He's like, oh man, it feels like my head's on fire. <laughs> and he's like, just looking off to like, I don't know, maybe his grandpa was there watching him, maybe Coppola was there watching him. Look, this is you know, ball. even Sofia Coppola, who I love, just runs circles around him, who runs circles now around Keanu, which bumps Owen Wilson off the back of the list <laughs> and into my you good graces. You started liking him. And into my good graces again after Loki. Dan, no. Who, look, who's getting the band hammer here? Shannon? Shannon. I mean, it's just... We couldn't even watch the last Nicolas Cage movie. It was like some, like... He was, like, stuck in some, like, beat down Five Nights at Freddy's place. Oh, that one was, was just, bad. It was so bad. People like, on the internet liked it. Like I the, keep seeing Reddit posts where people recommend it. It was bad. The best thing about him is that, like, goofy pillow face meme thing. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> Owen Wilson, you mean Lightning McQueen? ka -chow. I do love Lightning McQueen. I do. And he was good in Zoolander. Zoolander was pretty good. Reeves, yeah, Reeves was awesome. Are we talking about Christopher Reeves or Keanu Reeves? Because, <laughs> you know, those two... Alright, so these are going to go in the oven for 14 minutes. And then we'll let them cool for two before we can put them in your mouth. They really could have gone closer together. They said two inches. I think that was a lot. I think I've just like started a riot in the <laughs> chat over, uh, over bad acting. Yeah. Look, I can't. Here's the thing. I'm the worst actor ever. Like, I could never be an actor in a movie. It's just me. This. It's like I have Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds issue. <laughs> Who's another one that's on my list? Sure, no. Deadpool was fun and Van Wilder. But he's just Ryan Reynolds and everything, and same with me. Same with me. You're just Dan, no matter what you do? I loved you since the first time I laid eyes on you. Get down! Get down! They're coming! Get down! Stop right there, or I'll shoot! Stop or my mom will shoot! <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't handle the truth! See how it's just me every time? It's just Dan. It's just Dan every time. No! You take it back. So I am just, I'm the worst too. I could, there's no way I could be an actor. So I don't have room to talk, but I have room to judge. <laughs> OMG, look who's here. Oh, hey, Harley. What's up, friend? Oh my gosh. Where have you been? Like right up the street, but you don't hang out anymore? No, he's not coming back until I eat this shit. <laughs> he's uh, he's like, wow, new channel, who dis? Uh, we're getting baked with Crystal. You like that, right? Right? Um, I'll speak with the super chat. Dan, I haven't had to do this in a while. Don't make me come over there. Oh, wait. Hey, Mouse Queen, real quick. Um, Knight Rider is on Netflix. It just showed back up on Netflix. All four seasons of it. And Knight Rider 2000, which came out in 93. Weird. But uh, Knight Rider is on Netflix now. I'm, I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to watch it. Oh, yeah? Did you watch it back in the day? Oh, gosh, yeah. I got, yeah. A, I got oh, this. Oh, that's right. I, I got a, story. Yeah, I got a big old kit car, and you push down on the license plate, and then Mr. Feeney would talk. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I got a, I got a kit car. I, I don't remember if the wheel came out the bottom to make it go on its side. Or, and it was a big, it was a decent-sized car, too. Yeah? Yeah. All right, before we open, so is it time to hang out real quick? Yeah, yeah, I got 14 minutes. Okay, so check it out. So, real quick. So, I went over to the Petcon, right? Yes. And so I had these exclusive stickers and magnets, right? These ones here. 
It came with one uh, Day of the Dead magnet, uh, one only Dan's magnet, and one of the Day of the Dead stickers. So there's three items in here. Let me, let me, let me take one out real quick, right? Uh, Dawn says that your acting reminds her of Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get down, snitchy boochies. Yeah, huh. I'm also going with the super chat. Says, Holy cow, really? Awesome. Let me know your thoughts, dude. Yeah, I'll, yeah, it's time to like rewatch them again. I haven't watched Knight Rider since I was a kid, but like, yeah, I mean, I watched it. All right, so there's magnet, sticker, and magnet, and there was only 150 stickers made. I have, I still have some stickers. Huh. Oh, so we had all the stuff out there, and this one little girl comes up, and she takes all the stickers, the Jess's stickers, and she picks, uh, the mom picks this one up and says, do you want this one? And she said, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> <It's like, yeah. laughs> Which I'm not for kids. I'm not for kids. Fair and enough. maybe it's a little bit scary. So, right, so... I have a couple of these left. Actually, I have 15 packs left. That was it. Some anybody could have the stickers, but only like the people that like watch this place, watch this place, watch the streams got them. So I have 15 of these left. They're eleven dollars if you want them. And I have I have a I have links. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, look at you go. Yeah, right. So um you just take your phone and turn on the camera and zap it. Um, they're $11 shipped if, if you'd like them. Um, if you didn't get in on the second sticker set, I still have some too. So, like, those together would be 20 shipped. But, the second sticker set? Uh, the first sticker first, set yeah. that we made. Yeah. But uh, if you want some, I have a few left over not to be printed again. Like, I'm, that's that was that. I'm um, not making any more only Dan's. Did you, did you save one of these for me? Um, there's some on the fridge. No, the sticker. I kind of want it on my car. The stickers? Yeah. Yeah, I, okay. have, I still have some stickers. These are the only ones with the magnets. Like, these are the only ones gotcha. that only some people like, here, put this in your pocket. Um, gotcha. So if you would like uh, them, they are uh, $11 shipped, and I can put them in an envelope and ship them to you. Um, just uh, PayPal or Venmo on the screen. No, I will not save you any. Um, <laughs> first then, come, first serve. And then the ones on the fridge, are those are mine. Okay. No, th those are just those are just mine. So yeah. I just wanted to give you an opportunity. I did. I was planning on giving them all away to the people, um, but apparently I'm stingy with my stuff. <laughs> so not everybody got so one. So if you got one, you're special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hilo the Husky sent a super chat and said, "Love oh, you guys. Thank you, thank you, friend. Thank Appreciate you. the support. Yeah, thanks Everyone for showing up every too. week. Yes. Uh, Lorna says, "Hi, I'm late. What's up? Uh, cookies are in the oven. Mm -hmm. Dan's got uh, only Dan's magnets and Day of the Dan." Dave, Dave, uh, is sure. that what we're calling it? Dave, we, Dave the Dan? I don't, magnet and I, sticker? I don't know. My, my mom's sister did not like me calling it. I'm butchering the DS. I'm not even saying it. I, 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 oh, man. I got a lecture You're on that. Mexican. I, by 23 <laughs> and me oh only. Gosh. Here, I'll put up another picture of him real quick here. Um, uh, yes, Brittany. 11 yes. bucks for the Novi pack. Novi pack is the only Dan's magnet. Yes. The Day of the Dan magnet and Day of the Dan sticker. Do you have a name yes. for it? What do you call it? Oh, That's, Sugar Skull Dan? They're Sugar Skull Dan's. Okay. They're Sugar Skull Dan's, which are very cute. You know, I like that. They're very cute. They're pretty adorable. They are. They are. Um... Why are they almost as much as the other ones that were five magnets and stickers and stuff? Oh, because I lost I lost my butt on that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how much they are. Uh, if you if if you want, uh, yeah, I think. And Cyber Husky sent a picture. She's the first person to have the gold magnet from Winning Dantics. Where's that at? The gold magnet, the gold magnet <laughs> from Winning Dantics, and a regular magnet, and the only dance magnet, and the Sugar Skull magnet. She sent me a picture. I'm like, wow, you're the only one that's got all of them. Who is? And uh, Cyber Husky. Oh, Cyber Husky. Um, you go to only. There it is. You can only win the gold magnet by uh, winning Dantics, uh, which yes. we'll have uh, tomorrow. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I was thinking about it. It's been a minute since we did a, a Dantics episode. Uh, it's been more than 30 days because I logged into Skype to make sure that I paid the bill on the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. What does Wolfie W say? Stick to YouTube, Job Dan. Your acting skills, well, let you starve. Yes, <laughs> I I agree. They absolutely will. I I always thought like, like oh like I could be an actor. I could no, uh uh. I can't. I can only be. I can only be me. <laughs> yes. You're you're a uh -huh. one note character. Oh look at Jess. And you have merch with that design. Yes. Please don't buy anything off my Teespring store. Um, cuss word Teespring. Um, but I do have stuff on Spreadshirt of this stuff here, like the, oh my gosh. I oh, Hannah can't, can't get everywhere. Venmo or PayPal to work. Oh. Like, wait, wait, like you're scanning it and it won't work, or you can get to it and then it won't check out. I need more information. Uh, how much are the stickers? It's $11 for the pack with two magnets and a sticker. Yeah, look, I, I have it on a shirt, so it goes on stuff. Um, that's at Spreadshirt at RFS Dan, I think. I was adding more stuff to Spreadshirt. There's not much on there, but that's where I'm moving all my stuff to uh, because Teespring um, uh, 
just imagine me talking really bad about Teespring for the next like 60 seconds. So that's them. Um, but yeah, I got a shirt from Spreadshirt today, which it's odd. I'm not sure I like the. I'm not sure I like the tie dye. I could have told you. I thought it would just be fun from, and different. Um, I'm uh, taking the tie dye off the site because I don't want anybody to have this. It's, it's oh my gosh, who's gonna buy your stuff, Dan? When you just like, don't go to Teespring. Don't get this thing. <laughs> don't get this thing. You know what though? Um, Spreadshirt was like, dude, no worries. Like, I'll just kick you back some money and just grab something else. I'm like, rad. Teespring's all like, oh, you ordered something for me 32 days ago and you haven't gotten it yet? Huh. Well, what did you do wrong? I'm like, uh, anyway. So, yeah, I do have stuff. Um, it's spreadshirt.com slash RFSDan. You can oh. find it there if you'd like to be the first person to buy an RFS uh, Dan Sugar School. Hannah says logo. it's not checking out. It won't check out. I'm sorry. I, I Did anybody else do it correctly? <laughs> so you're implying that she did it wrong. Yeah. Okay, Spreadshirt. Teespring? Teespring? Shall we call you Teespring? Well, I mean, <laughs> if I was Teespring, I would just... Just, just uh, carrot you around for a month before I, I was just like, I don't know. Maybe you uh, did something. Harley does still love me. He says, no crystal ginger stickers? No, but I do finally have emojis. Can somebody please throw up the crystal emojis? Because Harley hasn't been around in a while. Uh, technically, we're going to call these crystal emojis because they have red hair. Uh, Katie got a free sweatshirt from Teespring once. Uh, we got, I ordered Dan a Wild Stallions shirt. And when it came printed, the logo was down here. Like, when you put your logos online, they don't tell you where they recommend to put it. Look, guys, in the screen printing world, four fingers. Let me see. Your microphone's in the way of where I am, and I can't see. Um, four fingers is standard for a logo. This has, like, a circle around it, so it's, it's different. But four fingers. If you ever put your merch up, don't put it here. Raise it up. So it looked like when the pregnant ladies uh, paint their bellies. And so I like wrote to them and was like what's up and i sent them a picture and they're like oh Five we already gone. took it off the site there must have been other people complaining they already took it off the site it's done and gone here's your money back and then another one showed up in the mail so he's got two shirts that are printed down right. here with the wild stallions um, logo. people are checking out through paypal yeah and i saw kathy said um, uh it worked all right half of them are gone hannah can you just send a a payment that way is that an option you should hurry and go to the bank <laughs> no, 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 to the liquor store and get a money order. Remember those? Oh, shut your and mouth. And then you should go to Western Union. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Did you have to do that at the store? When you worked at the... Oh, yeah, absolutely. We had Western Union at the gas station. Yeah, it's, um, oh my it's gosh. very well regulated because people use it for scams and stuff, even more so now. But uh, yes, Harley, they, they are reminiscent of the Wendy's girl. But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, Hannah, other people seem to be getting it to work. Um... Oh, uh, Doris got a phone call and missed what's happening. Doris, Dan has... Do you have any out still, or you put them all in here? I put them... Oh, they're on the fridge. <laughs> no, but you can take them out. What? One more promo for Dan. So Dan made a new sticker slash magnet pack for... Um, oh, can you... This camera? Which one? There we go. Okay, for $11 shipped, you get your Only Dan's uh, magnet, your Sugar Skull Dan magnet... And Sugar Skull Dan sticker. These actually turned out really well. I kind of love the design. And then let me see if I can do the other thing Dan had done. Where was the other thing, Dan? Um, on the just on the next one down. No, 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 no. The nope. next one. Down. There you go. There you go. Okay, there we go. Uh, you guys can scan that with your phone. Um, like just like take a photo of it. It'll take you right there. Okay. Where else can they go if um, that's, that's not it. an option? Nope. Venmo. Nope, that's, okay. that's all. Okay. Brittany Venmo. Amanda sent a pen. Another a one, Samantha's got one. So we got seven sold already. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you guys can you, can just send the money if you can't get it to check out, does that work? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you just gotta be quick. That's the that's the, the anxiety part is There's the, only like, fifteen and the, seven are gone already. That's the best. That's the best. Um and uh, I might whatever's left after the show, I'll push them through to Dantix tomorrow. And then uh and then that's it. Mel Shane got her. That's the that's the one thing I just I will not run against though is the I will not run any more only dance. No. Uh, no. Did you not love it? What happened? Yeah, no, I do love it. Oh, it's that's, just limited. That's just it. Yeah. yeah okay. On to something new. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. All right, we got like two more minutes, so I'm gonna take these out of the oven in two minutes, and then you wanna open the box. Yes, What's we can do box? that. I'm excited. Got... It came while Dan was gone, but I can't open it without Dan here. Like. I have to wait We got until Dan's all here. kinds of new Ooh. stuff. Alexis sent us this for the cats. Oh my gosh. So, 
I want to say it was Brittany who sent us one of these ones. Do you know this is one of Kitty's absolute favorites, and she like ate the feathers yeah, I was off say, of that it. That one looks nice. Yes, she ate the feathers. You guys know she loves feathers. This was one of her favorites. This and the little sloth. I don't remember who sent us the sloth at the moment. Um, <laughs> my life so far vlogs. <laughs> as fuzzy nubs. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't get one of these at the convention? Did you meet my life so far vlogs there? Yeah, yes. I think you're right. Yeah, you were there, right? She's the truck driver one? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, she bought me this awesome penguin. Oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah, you, you yeah. Oh, there's a little squishy slime. I know, right? Can I have scissors? Yes. To cut them off of here? Yes. So the cats are going to love them. <laughs> she says it's my gamer tag. <laughs> That's great. I mean, sometimes nubs are fuzzy. But it was great. Thanks. Everybody brought me, like, stuff and things for the cats. You know what they did? A lot of people brought me snacks. So I wouldn't, like, so I wouldn't, like, lock up. <laughs> we did uh, make sure to tell everybody to make sure that you ate. I always have to cut the tags off. I hate the tags on here. Right. Ugh. Super chat for Dan to eat the chip. <laughs> oh, you're trying to kill him. It's in there. I think it might have gotten shoved in the no, back. That's right here. Oh, man. That might just destroy me. Is tonight the night? Oh, I mean... I don't know if Harley's going to be your friend anymore if you don't. He might be my friend. I never committed to eating a chip. Um, Hannah, yours came through. So I'll grab Awesome. And Jess says, I tried to make sure he was always fed. He did good. Yeah, it's hard because, like, you think he's good. And most people are like, oh, I think I'm getting kind of hungry. I should probably eat soon. Not Dan. Dan's like, oh, I have to eat. You guys have seen him. He it, just phew, shuts off. It's, it happens so quick because, like, it happens so quick because, like, I'm, I try to describe it like, I'm, like, driving, like, 90 miles an hour in first gear. <laughs> just, just the RPMs are high. And then all of a sudden, it's just done. I would like, I would get up and I'd go to the convention and I'd eat. And then like later, like three hours later, full meal again. Boom, 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 boom. And then like three hours later, full meal again. And I was just inhaling food. Like, so they were, uh, I, I was, like the ones that do that. I was going through calories like crazy. I do love this. Look at this. I kind of love it too. It's a fish taco. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is, that is really cool. I do like that. Hannah says, okay, now to the liquor store. You hurry. Uh, Wolfie says, what about the cookies? I just took them out of the oven. They uh, they have to cool for a minute, and then we will try them. Oh, I hate these things in them. I always have to get the little tag bits out, because I don't want the cats to poke their mouths with that. This one's got a bad one. Well, the cats will be stoked on that. Who were these from again? Elect uh, uh. Alexis Schultz. Awesome. Thank you, Alexis. I don't know if she's here today. I don't know if I've seen... Oh, yeah, she is here. Thank you so much. I appreciate these, and I'm going to actually go give this to Kitty real quick. Okay. She immediately shoved her face right into it. <laughs> she was all about that life. All right, I'm going to set those there because nobody's really in a playing mood at the moment. Let me get rid of all of these before they make it into cookie dough. My snacks for later. Uh, Alexa says, you remember the t-shirt I got for her? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alexis, oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> it's the best ever. Man, it matches your side of the wall. Oh, yes. Yes. It, it's kind of blurry, so I don't know if you've noticed. Um, Jason got me the sign that says the same thing, and I put it up here. And Hannah, look. Crazy cat lady. It made it onto the wall in the kitchen. What about that way up there? What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. That says do all, ki all things with kindness, you fucker. I love it. Thank you. Also, really, really soft, amazing shirt. Really, really amazing. Thank you so much, Alexis. I super, super appreciate it. I love it. Now I have the camera. You know I love everything with the F word on it, right? <laughs> everything. Hannah says, I see it. 
Oh, yes, this is great. I love the little grumpy cat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to wash this inside out in cold water. I'm going to have to remember that. <laughs> oh, Harley says he will never eat the chip. I just watched Shaq eat it. He's like, I'm not going to make a face. Did he make a face? And then Shaq made a face. Oh, oh man. I mean, there's like instructions and rules. Oh, like you can get a free bag. It's probably expired because you've had it for How so long. How long can you la last before throwing in the towel or eating anything? Are you going to do it? It's tonight's night. Harley, are you still here watching? I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this at all. It's black. Oh my god. It's not even red. It's black. <gasps> Harley, he did it! Oh, it's really hot. Do you need a tortilla? I've got one behind the stove. Oh, where's my drink? <laughs> no, water's gonna make it worse. Is it? Yes, water makes hot worse. What do I do? Tortilla. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. Grab the one from behind the. <laughs> I was gonna, but that might take too long. I make it a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, Brittany, he can't have milk. He's lactose intolerant, so that's a bad idea. Do not touch your eyes or face or anything. Okay, itch. Why would you? <laughs> you have tortilla on your nose now. <laughs> what are you doing? There's only one? <laughs> oh. There's none of them behind the stove. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dan, take a big on camera. <laughs> uh, they're saying eat chocolate. <sighs> uh, gargle with milk and it'll help. We could do that, yeah? She just wants to see me gargle the milk. I mean, I have chocolate. Do you want chocolate? Oh, I well. have a... You finally ate the expired chip! I bet it was better a year ago. <laughs> Some of these are just plain old chocolate. <sighs> this one. Oh. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, Kathy says you should wash your hands. <laughs> Let it let like soak on your tongue too. I don't know what's burning. Oh. He's gonna spew. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. How's that chocolate tortilla going on in your mouth? <laughs> Can you uh, chew with your mouth closed? It's actually pretty good. It's hot. Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming back, Harley. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun night with Dan. Shall we? Shall we gargle with milk? Uh. -uh. No. I need more eating food. You another tortilla. Tortilla or bread? Uh, kind of tortilla. Oh, I'm like tired and I don't feel my tongue. <laughs> oh! It's in a fight. I'm tired of it. Huh. Uh, Wil it's faster. Wilton in real life hates you. She says, now eat the other half. Oh, there, you didn't even eat the whole thing. Why would you do that? <gasps> <sighs> Jess is still saying you should gargle with milk. She don't even drink milk. <laughs> She's not suggesting you drink it either. She's just suggesting you gargle with it. Did you eat dinner? Is your dinner uh, tortillas and chocolate? Uh, uh, oh, Dad? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> uh, absolutely not. I will not be trying a piece of that. I do not like spicy for the sake of spicy. You sure you don't want some milk? You can just like swish it around in your mouth. Why wasn't mine red like this one? This is the worst one. Probably because it's a year and a half old. <laughs> We're getting you milk. That's all anybody's saying. I can't. No milk. No? No milk. You don't have to swallow it. I don't. I don't want milk because I'm going to... Look, here's the problem is I love chugging milk and I haven't drank milk in 12 years. Oh my years. God, you're like crying and sweating. I've, I take milk, I'm going to want milk for it. Like, I'll have the taste of blood on my, my milk on my tongue and I'll want it for it more and then I'll, I'll turn to milk person. I can't do it. <sighs> the sweat is keeping the championship belt on I my see head. that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> uh, Sam with the member super chat says... Uh, Online it says that sugar can help. You want a spoonful of sugar? No, thank Helps you. Helps the spicy chip go down. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, cake. Oh my god. Shut your mouth. Easy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold it back. Hold it back. <laughs> back again. Here comes the second wave. Hold it back. Hold it back. <sighs> uh, besides being hot, Crystal wants to know how many hawks was it? Oh, zero, like, one. <laughs> Only because there, like, there is no zero hawks. No comment from Harley. I don't know if he uh, dipped out or he's just laughing his ass off at you. <sighs> no, there he is. Taco truck around. That'll help. I didn't see them out there when I came home. <sighs> oh, yeah, they're out there flashing with their rave party lights. <sighs> oh, yeah, eat a cookie. You want a cookie now? You're not even going to be able to taste it. I wasn't even hungry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got you a cookie. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. You can taste it. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want you looking at. Alright. Maybe we'll do the other half tomorrow in Dantix. Because <laughs> I want to eat it all. I want to eat it all. Oh my god, it's such a dry cookie. <sighs> Is it? I'm a. Don't touch him. Oh. In oh. fact, don't touch anything. You're putting your spicy chip hands on everything. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> uh, Brittany with the member super chat says, He lived to tell the tale. I'm proud of you, Danny boy. Half, I'll do half of it tomorrow on... on I'm going to do the half tomorrow on Dantix. Uh, PJ says, Fortune favors the bold. <sighs> Harley, I'll meet you at the taco truck. <laughs> I can't. But thank you, but no... Uh, Wolfie well, wants uh, uh, bets on how long till you spew. Uh, Wilton, reminding you, wash your hands with soap, Dan. Not no, that you rinsed. One yeah. time, <laughs> get over here. You need soap. One time, our friend came in and he was a cop, and he came into Q Smith, and I wanted him to mace me, <laughs> and, and he shot the mace, and it got on those fingerless gloves, and Stop for it. weeks, no, and for weeks after that, no. Every time I'd wear those gloves. And I would do something, I'd wipe my face. It would just, like, activate. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Kids, some of these? try this at home for sure. Was this from Alexis, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Give me one of those. Hang on. Oh it did that God. thing things do when you tear them off and it doesn't actually open. I did it. I did it. Oh, my gosh. I was acting. That was easy. Shut your mouth. Oh, you died see, a little. That's how you act. That's... <laughs> Is that how That's how you act. Uh, these are salmon flavored greenies. You're gonna have a ring of fire. They're good for your skin and fur. Um, I will not because I'm Mexican, so that don't happen to me. Hi, oh, look at you. Mm, you like good. those? Those are good too. Okay, you have to let go so I can get more. Mm. Mm. Can you oh my gosh. Over a bit? Absolutely. I, I need to give uh, Alexis her payoff. All right, all right. I, will eat oh, the other half. I think he likes these. Oh, I will eat the other half on Dantix tomorrow. I think. Do you think? Well, yeah, unless Jess is, Jess is usually right. Unless the arena fire happens, which I haven't, I don't know. Ouch. Man, Can you not use nails? Yeah, he really likes these, Alexis. Thank you. And they come back, the water makes it come back, but it's okay. I'm, I don't know why. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Good luck with your butt. <laughs> uh, Nori Nori says you're clearly lying. You were on fire and dying. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell because I had an well, outer body know. experience. Outer body? Uh-huh. Or out of body? Outer body. <laughs> okay. Whew. Um, my last week of adventure says, nope, nope, I'm not going to eat mine now. <laughs> you have one? Eat it. Why Katie says, it? put the toilet paper in the freezer now. <laughs> <laughs> the freezer. I never heard that one. Ow! That was my um, finger. I will say, whichever one I have was the black chip, not the orange chip, like I see everybody else eating. That was like, because Harley don't play. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm one half chip away from them coming back to watch the live streams again. <laughs> Seriously, he didn't watch for what like doing? like all year. No, he hasn't. Uh -oh. Come on, come on. Are you struggling? Come here. Oh my gosh. Hey. Dude, he really likes these. Okay, okay. I'm getting you one. Hey. <laughs> Ow! You're going to be All cut right. off. He's vicious for these. All right. Ow, I don't have one. Yeah, oh. watch out. He'll eat your damn hand. Hey. So. 
So it was hot. It was like, it wasn't hot anywhere but my tongue, and then it made me sweat a little bit, but it was only hot on my tongue. Even right now, it's, uh. Oh, look, it left a big black spot. Russo! Um, it's only, it was only hot. It was only hot on my tongue. My mom says, are you okay? I am. I am, um, I just ate something that was disrespectful to your people. <laughs> like, like, Mexicans don't make things that hot. Uh, even now, it's like in the port, it's like inside my tongue, like my tongue's a, like my tongue's a sponge. Was there any flavor to it, or uh, was it just hot? It was just hot. Watch out, which is right behind you, don't step on him. It was just hot. Even right now, it's hot, like, not fire hot, but it's fire hot. Like, on my tongue, and my tongue's just salivating, but there was no good taste to it at all. It was just hot. But, um, only on my tongue, not on my throat. My nasal passages, like, not as much as sometimes when you have, like, uh... What clears out your nasal passages? Um, uh, karashi? No, uh, karashi it, is, uh, um, what's karashi? Um, a uh, horseradish. Like, horseradish, we are like, whoa! Uh-uh. Like, like, look, like, I'm, I'm already okay through, through here. Just my tongue. Just my tongue. Oh. Whew. Yeah, Jess, did you try this shit? Did you? <laughs> it, it won't be worth it to puke. I wouldn't. I wouldn't puke from it. it was, it's. I don't think it's like. I don't think it's like that. Can I show you how much Kitty loves this? <laughs> it's already licked half to death. The whole thing slobbery. <laughs> She's been in there going to town. So thank you again, Alexis. She loves it. I tossed it and she went after it. Oh, which tore up my hand. Okay, I'm good. I'm good again. Uh, KK wants to know, did you get the DLC for Animal Crossing? OMG, yes, and I'm totally hooked on Animal Crossing again. Like, every night around, like, 10, 30, 11, when I'm done with everything else that needs to be done. That's your chill time? I gotta go check my town. I gotta go decorate a vacation home. I gotta go to the other little island with the guy in the boat. Yes, absolutely, I am all about it. Okay, I survived. You did. I, I survived. It, it, I mean, it's hot. I, like, there's no, there's no, like, being super, like, I'm not being tough at all. That's no good. That was like that's like no bueno. Um, okay. But I sur I no I survived steps. it. But yeah, it was just it's just ton ton throb ton throb. That doesn't sound oh my fun gosh. at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Missy fan named Jen says, "Lol, what happened to the feathers?" Um, anytime Kitty has a toy with feathers, she just licks it. She'll hold it down and just lick. Uh, she just loves to lick feathers. That's her thing. So she's already slobbered all over the whole thing. Uh, Harley says, "You didn't eat the whole chip though." No, I got half today, and I got half tomorrow on Dantix. On Christmas episode of Dantix, I'll eat the other half and die. Yeah? I don't want to, but I will. Because I have to eat the chip. Uh, but, no, I don't feel, like, sick to my... Like, I'm not going to, like, puke or anything. I still have that Mexican... You know, I still got that Mexican lining on me. Lay down. Um, no. This was from... This was from Katie. Which, at the airport... Ooh. At the Trevor City Airport... Oh, my gosh. I used You're to love that them. place. <laughs> I am mad. They took my jelly... Yeah, they I'm took mad my, about that. They took my jelly. And then the worst part is, I was like, well, if you're going to take it, like, at least take it home and eat it. She's like, I can't. I'm like, well, let's... <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like, sounds like you're no, mixing, missing stop. out. stop. So what they did do is they did take swabs and swab all of the box. I mean, like, she, like, rubbed it down. <laughs> and then, like, put it in a contraption to see, like, make sure it wasn't, like... It wasn't, like... Anthrax's uh, pancake mix, you know, because that was popular. that's weird. Because when we flew out of there, um, <laughs> that's the only airport I've ever been to where they said you need to put all of the food and snacks you have with you in a separate bin. Like you put your stuff in the bin to go through the machine, and all your food had to be in a separate bin. And I was a little embarrassed, not gonna lie, because um, remember Jess had gotten a box with way too many snacks in it for her to ever like finish in a reasonable amount of time. She's like, oh, take some, and so we took like one of everything. And I had way too many snacks in my backpack, and I was just like, and filled up an entire bin with all my snacks. I was a little embarrassed. This not person was lie. not having it. They, there, was, there was no time for the dance show. They did not want the jokes. She was just like, you can't have this. They're all like, there's n literally nobody in the airport, right? There's literally nobody in the airport. And three of them are like standing there, and they're like, you've a, uh, we watched my bag go down the runway in front of all of us, right? And we're standing there like, this is my bag. It looks at me. Uh, you've been selected. <laughs> you've been <laughs> selected for additional searching. I'm like, oh, cool. And right away, I'm like, oh, no. Because I saw this said three ounces of liquid only. 
I forgot that I had the jelly in there. No, or also, jelly is not liquid. It is. But jelly's not liquid, it's jelly! In, in terms of TSA, so, it is. I had it all wrapped up nicely so it wouldn't explode on the plane. And then they're all like, do you have any of this, 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 and this? And then they open it up. And then she, like, unpacked it. I'm like, I, I packed it nicely. And she unpacked everything. And I'm like, do you want me to... She's like, do not touch the bag. I'm going to go get something. Do not touch the bag. And she walked, like, right here and then, like, grabbed some, like, swab kit or whatever. And then it, the signs are right in front of the plastic. It's like, don't go around. Don't touch your stuff. Don't do nothing. At the end, she's like trying to shove it all back in. I'm like, oh, can I just come and do that? And then she let me come around and get. <laughs> she let me come around and get and recap my bag. She's like, you can leave no. and like go mail it and then come back. I'm like, that is. I was like, poppycock. I'm not Which doing one that. What do you want? Was it this one? So this did survive from from Katie. I have never seen this uh, brand before, so I'm interested to try it. Yes. I hope they come out nice and fluffy. Oh, yes. We will try these. Um, I make pancakes on the weekends because I don't make hey, breakfast no, in the morning. No, you're not joking um, that far. But yes, on the, the weekend, I will make these and we will report back and let you know. Yes, Thank think, you. Thank I you, Katie. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, we'll put the jello. Uh, Katie says I had scissors the first time I went through TSA and it scared me. Um, yeah, my mom always like forgets to take something out. She's like, oh my god, I flew with this or I flew with that and I made it through. Hannah with the super chat, thank you, friend, says it's not too late for me to amend my package to include some open greenies that my cat won't eat. Um, if your cat won't eat them, please feel free to send them. I've got, you know, almost half a dozen cats. Somebody's gonna oh. eat them and apparently they like those. They're a cool idea. Hold on, they're a cool idea. So they're, like, the lady, I mean, the lady took her job way too serious, Most but they were do. fine. But I was salty for the next all the hours after that. I think I texted the, the group chat, Jess and Steve. I said, just know when I play, if my plane crashes, I'll be yelling, they took my jelly all the way down <laughs> to the ground. And then the plane got like, like had to be de-iced and like it was starting to snow really bad. Like really, really bad, like La Bamba bad. And then like <laughs> when it went up and it was all like, because <sighs> oh my gosh, did I have a crazy trip home? Which like I feel a little bit more seasoned at um, flying now. Right. So I wasn't too worried, not worried like the lady that was sitting next to me. Um, <laughs> did you have to hold her hand? <laughs> was it like that? I <laughs> did it, but I helped her get to her next flight. We'll talk about that another time. Probably on the podcast. Okay. Uh, so as we were going up and stuff like that, I'm like, oh my gosh. Is, like, did, it, did my text message become fate just so I could have GoPro footage on the news at 11 of like, <laughs> the plane going down the black box is destroyed, which is orange, not even black. <laughs> and all we have is this GoPro footage of this guy who's just screaming about his jelly on the way down. <laughs> I thought I thought that's what was gonna was was gonna happen. Uh, Amanda says I'm back. Did did you did you miss the entire chip part of the episode? Oh, maybe so. <laughs> oh wait, wait, real quick before we open that, because I want to, but I don't want to forget. Can we get? Um, yeah, are we, were we making stuff here? Do we yeah. need to put one more batch in the oven here? Um, we can't, they can they can wait, but what's oh, your... oh, oh, oh. Uh, all right, wait. No, oh. the cookies can wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I know you ate a cookie, but you were in the throes of dying. In the throes. <laughs> I was I was trying to shuffle the no, mortal no, no, coil. No. Okay, are you trying to? Oh, you were gonna eat one. Okay, I. No, I... No. Oh, you want me to eat another one? Sometimes you don't want to eat too many cookies, so I was gonna see if you wanted to split it, but you seem all about it. No, so... can we split it? No, you can't split. You can't split. You're killing me, Dan. Hey, Jess, how do you feel about this? This is basically edible glitter. Which, oh my <laughs> gosh, I didn't. I didn't invoke a no glitter rule, which seems like it doesn't matter. Stop. No. Uh, so no. we might have glitter stuff. People know better. But yeah, this is just edible glitter. Um. Okay. So. Go ahead and eat it. Stop it. This is <laughs> so not it is written. So it shall be done. The podcast is coming back because I paid for the pod bean and reactivated it, and all my stuff was there. Well, we still had 7,000 downloads since the last, uh, what was it, like 28 days or whatever. Like, we still had a lot of downloads. Much approved. But I reactivated Podbean, and it just was like, oh, you paid the bill, and then, like, you can have it back. I'm like, rad. Oh, we have to figure out the .com, though, Jess. I don't know what it redirects to anymore. How do you, you have to eat it in one bite. Yeah, put the whole thing in your mouth. That's what happens when you travel without check bags. If I were to check my bags, it would have gone through the same thing, and they would have opened it, taken it out, put that TSA note in there, and then zipped it back up and let it go. And I did check my bags. Mm -hmm. Jess. Mm -hmm. These are good. Hold on. Time out. I, it's a sugar cookie. The, these no, are good. it's not a sugar cookie. It's a, sugar, it's it's a butter cookie. I like more the, buttery than sugar. I like the texture better than the ones that we draw on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Really good flavor. Definitely really buttery. So dry. Such a dry cookie. Like, 
it's almost hard to get it down because it's so dry. I like it, but it's good. I think it's good, and I didn't. I don't. I think it's moist and it tastes fine. And I think everything you said doesn't apply to my mouth. Well, your mouth is probably still watering. A little bit. <laughs> a little yeah, bit. it's like a water park in there. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll try them tomorrow and see how you feel about them. Um, they're good though. Definitely a, a simple cookie. You can decorate it any way you want. I saw them with like chocolate drizzle over the top or little, like I said, uh, M&Ms and stuff in it. So you can definitely personalize these however you want. I think they're good. Do we need to put some more in the oven? Can we, you want to get a little batch in there real quick? Um, I can if you want me to. <laughs> Just says, uh, oh, people know better than to send glitter, but they do still do it. Then they write notes apologizing. I saw somebody posted something to the audience group. I had to die tonight. It was just like, I went to the store and got a car for you. And then I got home and realized it was glitter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sending it anyway. Uh, put, what did somebody do? Put like clear nail polish or Mod Podge over it. It Remember don't matter. Those last year? You know what you should do? You should get a box of Crayolas out and you should just draw a picture of a car. I on the love, car. is it Charlotte that always sends the handmade cards? Yes. Love them. Those Absolutely are the best. Love those, I did cards. those I do save. Can you get... No, no, look, I have had the battle with the cats all day long today. I was gone for a week, so there's no human here to, like, parent these well, cats. He's here, but he'll he's, parent them. Yeah, unless, unless it's inside his game, he don't know. But they've been out of control today. Dude, there's a video, you'll probably see it tonight on RFS Cats. Kumiko hopped on me, like, it was, like, one of those, like, fur coats. And I was just doing stuff, and Kumiko just was there. Just like, what's up? They're just out of control right now. They're unruly. And I can't, I'm not gonna fight, I'm not gonna fight it. You act like I didn't parent them all week. I don't know what happened, but so like, who's parenting these cats? <laughs> who's parenting these cats? I let them do whatever they want. Like a Danish tin cookie? No, because those are hard. Those Danish tin cookies are hard. This ones are like super soft. Well, they're also fresh out of the oven, but I think they will stay softer than the, the Royal Dance ones. Okay. But yeah, it, the flavor is definitely similar to those, for oh, sure. The side of Jesse you don't see. I just shake the card in the envelopes. I send back I send back to the glitter cards, people. Yeah. Shake the cards in the envelopes I send yep. back to the glitter cards. Uh -huh. Yes, they, uh -huh. get, they get it back. There's there's the Jess I know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, the Jess I mean, I that's know. only fair, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Hannah with the super chat, thank you, friend. Consider your package amended. There's also another open I'm bag good. of cat treats because, well, my cat's a picky asshole. I get it. <laughs> I mean, what is a cat if not a picky I asshole? I was stoked to see that you got your cat its first cat treat and he loved it. Like, mm -hmm. like that's standard, like, when it's like cat starter kit. Oh, like, get him down. The treats are there. That's like on the cat starter kit. What's up, Topo? Topo has no shame. If there's something he wants, he will hop up and he will grab it in his mouth and run off with it. His balls are in my hand. <laughs> he doesn't <know. laughs> I can feel them. <laughs> they're, they're empty. It's cool. Oh, my gosh. All right. We'll make some. We'll make one more set of these, and then we'll open this box. I feel a little happy that, like, half that chip's gone. Oh, Charlotte says, thanks, Dan and Crystal. Mm, yeah, those are uh, cards. Uncle Yukon says, Charlotte's card is awesome. Yes, Charlotte definitely put some effort into it. She's got some skill, and, and she puts some love into it. Not to discount anybody else that store buys their card. Like, absolutely, whatever you send is absolutely appreciated. But I just super love uh, handmade things. And, uh, yes, um, we do have a card exchange. There's, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got hiccups on I kind of, like, hiccuped a little bit. Almost kind of like, uh... Like, after, like, Mexican food. Like, you're like, oh. Um... Uh, so we will be sending out cards to everybody that sends us a card. The, the P.O. Box description, uh, address is in, we call it the P.O. Box. It doesn't say P.O. Box on there, but it goes to a P.O. Box. But it's, uh, the address is in the description or on rfsdan.com or just make up an address. Eventually, uh, it'll probably get sent back to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my life so far vlog says I handmade mine from scrapbook paper. That's awesome. Okay, hold on. I had a bunch more people buy these stickers. I gotta make sure we're not out yet. Yeah. Yes. Let me... Let me go. Let me go and retake some inventory here. Uh, Hannah says my card is store bought, but I wrote a nice heartfelt message in it. <laughs> Katie says mine was from last year. Nobody will know. Oh, I always have leftover ones at the end of every year. Yeah, we so, may or may not even have leftover ones. We no, 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 like know. regular Christmas cards I send to the family and stuff. So some years I'm like, eh, I don't have to buy cards this year, and I just send like five different cards and just everybody gets whatever's left over. Uh, Amanda with the super chat. Dan, super chat to the chip because I missed it the first time. Chris and I were doing bedtime with AJ. Oh man, I have a half a chip left, but I was going to try to do it tomorrow for Christmas Dantics, but oh, I don't. 
I don't know if the gimmick I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna allow for this. You don't even know what you don't oh, even. Oh, I'm I'm sure you you told me you were looking I, for something at the store today. I, I was just like, oh today. no, he's planning something. Yeah. Uh, my mom is here. Hello, mom. Hi. You missed uh, Dan eat the super hot chip that Harley sent for him. Finally, after uh, well over a year of it sitting here, Harley has not watched our shows, or at least not made his presence known in our shows for like a year, and uh, he well, showed like, up. Well, that commitment is amazing. I, I appreciate it. Absolutely. I think I was talking to Holly like a month or so ago. I'm like, that's like, that's <laughs> commitment. She's like, all he ever wanted was you to eat the chip. What did you do? We <laughs> were all hanging out. Uh, Jess with her member super chat. Amanda, I'm going to steal the video and make him post it as its own video so you can all rewatch it. <laughs> he did die a little as I ran around trying to save him. Beautiful. Uh, eight or soul lab, seven left. Okay. Uh, Libby's Cave said, did you get my Christmas card? I think there was one from you. I went and got, uh, I checked the post office box yesterday. I got a big old stack. There was like over a dozen in there. Um, we have not opened them yet. I talked about this earlier. I don't want to mix them up. I don't want to ruin the addresses on the envelopes. So we're going to sit down and make out all the cards, um, the addresses on the postcards. And uh, before we open them, just to make sure we don't screw anything and up. And yes, yours is here. Sweet. Yeah, there's like 13, 14 of them here. I wasn't oh. going to buy the P.O. box today, but I didn't because I thought there was a line. But there was more of a line at Justice Post Office than there was at the UPS store that I went yeah, to. Yeah, when I went yesterday, there was, like, nobody there. I was surprised. Nobody there. Uh, Holly wants to know, how did your mom like her present from Linda? Oh, my gosh, oh, you guys. Oh, so, she was... Linda what? said... I don't, is Linda here? I was waiting to see her pop up, and I don't know if I've um, seen her name pop up. She was at Justice live, live stream today. Right, but is she here now? That's the real question. Um, so, Linda, if you guys remember, if you watched us unbox the box from Linda, she sent a, a small package for my mom. And I brought it to my mom, and she was like, oh my gosh, really? And she opened it up, and it had uh, crunchy bars. The big package of crunchy bars that I had, and then the uh, the one that's the chocolate with the bits of crunchy bar in it. And so she opened that up right away, the, the bits of crunchy bar, and she ate it, and she was like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, then later she called me to tell me, oh my god, where have crunchy bars been all my life? She ate the actual candy bar, and she is in love, which is unfortunate, because you can't really excited. find them anywhere. She was very excited. She was really excited. She literally said, where have they been all my life? Where can I find them? I need more. Um, she tried to convince me at work when I went home for lunch to bring me her uh, crunchy bar from my stash. And I said, absolutely not. You have your own. I'm greedy about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, not happening. Oh, Wilton, your card has not made it yet. But... Can we get some names? Everybody's asking if they, uh, if they got... If we got their cards. So can you read off the, the names of who we got uh, it from? Marie, Charlotte, Elizabeth, Katie, Christy, Peter, um, Laura, Christopher, Amanda, Amanda S. Amanda S. Uh, this one says Edwards. I think I know who that's from. Uh, Sarah M., uh, Amanda M. And then this one from Kentucky doesn't have a name on the outside of it. Yeah, it does. Oh, man. Oh. I, when you said Kentucky, I knew anyway. Yes. Um, oh, my mom says she has two crunchy bars left. Damn, woman, I have more than that left. <laughs> she really likes them. I did bring you some of those Sanders. Yes, if you guys have not those. tried these, uh... Chocolate covered caramel bits. These are amazing. The sea salt caramel. I like them with milk chocolate. And Dan brought me a bag. Those are a little hard to find out here too. I bought those at the Detroit airport when I was because I had a big layover in Detroit. Right. Um. But like, I I didn't. I refused to buy anything that was liquid in there out of principality. <laughs> I couldn't check the liquid. But after I got on the other side, then I could buy all the liquid I want. So like, I just didn't like. So I got you those because I was really excited to send you this. Uh, <laughs> We went to this place in Alpina that was like a C's candy, but way better and cooler, and it had so much chocolate in it, and it just baffled me that I saw Make like sure he doesn't jump up I saw like forty people that day, and there was like a hundred people's worth of fresh candy in there. Yeah, like, that place I just was packed don't, with stuff, not oh, people. Oh, and everything looked beautiful in there. And I was so happy to bring you back the jelly or the jam. Uh, Evelyn has joined us, and so I saw the thumbnails, and I was intrigued. Hello, Evelyn. Uh, Thank yes. you for joining us. Well, welcome. What are we making um, today? We are making whipped shortbread cookies, mm -hmm. which are pretty good. I would call it a butter cookie. It's it's more yeah, more buttery than than shortbready, but it gets the idea across. Um, they're good. They're pretty. 
I will probably make these in my uh, Christmas batch of cookies because they're simple and they're pretty. Uh, Hannah wants to know, should I put my address on my Christmas card? I was kind of hoping you'd open it on the stream. It does help us um, keep things straight. If you guys could write your address like on the back of the card or something or inside or just somewhere where it's in case the envelope gets torn. But I was going to try to be more careful about the envelope this time. The cards probably won't be open on the on the stream. Um, like She sent me a package with the card in it, though. Oh, again, yeah, yeah, our package yeah. will be open yeah. for hey, sure. Hey, 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 get what's up, Topo? Yoke, what's up? You bored? You want some? You come here. What's up? What's up? Doris wants to know if you uh, rode the train at the Detroit airport. Ah, uh, you should watch the you should watch today's vlogmas video on Instagram, on Facebook, or on this very channel right here, and uh, your answer will be there. Amanda uh, Gingrich wants to know if you got their card. No. Oh, no, I have not got not yours. No, but we checked yesterday. It was a not different. Today. It was a different Amanda. Um, since I got that card first, um, I guess that was Amanda number one. <laughs> you might be Amanda number two, or if you don't act fast, you might not even make the top three Amandas. There's there's a handful of them, I think. Yeah, but we'll go to the. I'll go to the post office like mon Monday. And don't worry, you guys have plenty of time. Like this isn't. It's not an expiration thing. Like we'll just do it until we're out of cards or until like. I don't know, I guess, you know, a couple days after the new year, you know? Uh, Beer and Bug says, looks like you've got a Rocket Fizz in town. Check there for the imported candy bars. Maybe they have crunchies there. They do not. No, I, no, I have no checked. crunchies at the Rocket Fizz? I have checked. Damn. I mean, they they may now. I haven't been in a while, but no, know. I've been there multiple times, and, and I've checked, and I've asked them, and they've been like, no, we don't have that. So, no. Thank you, though. I appreciate you uh, looking into that. Yeah. Um, I've been to the Rocket Fizz. Me too. It's, it's a Rocket Fizzy. I found them uh, in Santa Barbara. That's where I first had them was uh we have a friend that's from scotland and she took us in there and was like oh my gosh you have to try this candy bar and we tried it and it was amazing and now i love it forever oh my gosh i really have to go to the bathroom when i'm trying to hurry yeah yeah i don't want to stop mid sprinkle i just want to get these in the oven and no, then I'll... you don't want to stop mid sprinkle the tinkle <laughs> i do not Damn, everybody. I see what you did there. But I did, okay, so I hung out at Detroit Airport for two hours and 45 minutes. It was a little less than that because we had to de-ice the plane, which was so cool. Oh my gosh, I felt like, what would it be like to be the embryo inside a, an egg when it gets, when it gets colored at, um, at Easter? And like, cause they're like, we're gonna like pull out and de-ice the plane. It'll take about twenty minutes. I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, are you just turning on the defroster? Right. And then like, I'm sitting by the wings, and the wings are all jit, 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 and there's so much ice on it and snow. It was like a thick layer of snow on it. And then they came back with this hose, and this guy was in this box up high. It looked like such a rewarding job. I'm like, oh my gosh, like that I, was pretty amazing. I've never seen such a yeah. Thing. And as soon as they shot, they shot it with two different layers of stuff, and everything like. On my window and everything, it just whoosh, and I was like, "Whoa, this is rad, right?" And the lady next to me was not having it. Uh, so when they did that, it was super cool. And when we took off, we only slid once, like, oh, like, no like, thanks. We have to turn, and then like sometimes they like get up to running speed, and then they hit that other turn and blast off. So this time, he turns, and then like that brake thing where you hit the brakes, and you can hear like the. <sighs> And like no, it just crumbled you. for a second, and then it caught, and then from off we went, whoosh! And all the like Jamies that work there that are out there loading up the luggage have like, like no hat or just no headgear at all on. It's just like they're just out there doing stuff with no gloves, <laughs> and they're out there loading stuff up. But it was neat to see them de-ice the plane. It was so cool. So we get up there in the air, and like we're going through the snow. <sighs> in the regular vlog that I'll edit. In the regular vlog that I'll edit, I think I try to record us going up because I don't know. I thought maybe I'd go up in the sky enough to like go above the storm, which it's you just saw white outside. It looked fake. Um, but once we got up, like we got we're going, nothing stuck to that plane at all. That de icing thing was rad. Jess is laughing at you saying all the Jamie guys. They are, they are just like the dudes out there, just like doing his thing, just unfazed, unfazed. He did have shoes and socks on. Unfazed by the weather, just do 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 do, loading up the bags and doing whatever, and it's just like snow under the dude. I think he was de-iced too because he was getting wet, but he didn't have like a snow pile on his head. Um. So so then like once I started going up in the air, like nothing stuck to the plane. And then when I got to Detroit, 
uh, it was just crummy weather out, and then it said it was going to snow. It showed, like, snow, 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 and then I checked, like, two minutes later, there was no snow. I'll uh, wait till you see uh, what my Jamie guy did to this snowblower. Holy Jesus. Oh, my gosh. He, like, turned a snowblower into, like, the Binford 5000 snowblower. It was definitely tool time. It was definitely tool time. So... I need to send out Christmas cards, but to whom? You just go outside, like the Walmart with a survey and think like, would you like a Christmas card? Or are you getting like Christmas card like antsy where it's like, you get a card and you get a card and you get a card. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so de-icing the plane definitely worked, definitely worked. And then I didn't have any bad weather, but the turbulence, oh my gosh, the turbulence. It was crazy. The airplane was all going zhu, 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 zhu. As the computer, as the computer was, what are you doing? I think I found my thing and I think it's in there. Okay, I'll get it. As the computer was like trying to like write the plan, zhu, 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 zhu. And oh my gosh, first of all, when you go to Trevor City, like it's all a bunch of upper Michigan people, right? When you get to Detroit and you get in line to go to LA, Oh my gosh, it is LA on there. It's a rapper, it's a uh, skinny jeans, emo kid, like, right, a uh, crop top, like, right. I always try to play the game coming back from Chicago of, like, Chicago Dude. or LA. Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> Which one? it's LA, right? So we get on the plane, the weeds, how do you get, how do you get the, uns I, just unsmoked weed, just, just whoffing <laughs> on the whole heard. plane. I'm just like... <laughs> I have heard, and I've not had it confirmed by anybody oh my I know, gosh. but I've heard if it's legal where you're going from and where you're going to, oh, it, you can travel with it. But I, I, don't, I don't know anybody who's oh, actually done it. Man, it was just like, people were making comments about it. People were mm -hmm. making comments. And what's up, the lady that sat like two over from me, put that big old spotlight on her, and then just like, the whole flight was just a spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't use it to read or yeah. anything? Uh... No. Huh. No. Interesting. Maybe. Right. Uh, it is not legal to take on a plane. It's not legal federally. Okay. I know you can take your, like, weed pens and stuff with you, I think. Or at least the gummies, for sure. But, like, dude, it was, like, like, I don't know if I know it's weed. It, somebody had that. <laughs> I don't know if they were keistering. I don't know. <laughs> but, but I was just like, I smell it. Oh, man. I smell it. I smell Crazy. it. Crazy. Okay. You want to do some of this? Yes. Let's do this. All right. This is for Beer and Bug. Thank you so much. <laughs> you didn't open it first? <laughs> and always pre-open the packages. Is that it? I swear I stuck my hand in there. I just wasn't brave enough, I guess. I got it. Hooray! My hero! There might be other stuff in there, too. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> It's a bug it button. It is, but what is it? What I is love it, it? What is it from? Uh, DFW New Beetle Club. Oh, that explains your name. Yeah. Okay, that ex <laughs> that explains your name. Now do you get it? This is actually really cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Enhance your New Beetle experience. Hey, how come these things got bad turn radiuses? Oh wow. Okay. Okay, I don't want to read this out loud yet to you because I, I don't want to spoil it. It describes you think what's some in here. Unsavory comments on there. No, 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 it describes the things that are in here, and I like the the surprise of taking the stuff okay. out. Okay. 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 Also, oh. I recovered from I recovered from the chip mostly. <laughs> it says, "Bob, you fool! Don't plug that thing in." <laughs> oh, that's great. Merry Christmas from BRM Bug. I don't know if you want me to say your real name, so I'm just going to say BRM Bug. It's a, a far side Christmas card. Awesome. Thank you. That's the first one we've actually opened. Yeah, I don't think your address is on here, too. So you'll have to send, you'll have to DM me your address. So that way I can. Oh, oh I scribbled it out. Yeah, because it's on camera. We scribble it out. So Shoot. please uh, message us yeah, your So your I can get you address. something back. Oh, my gosh. OMG. I am excited to try these. Yeah, Jess, I just don't know. I just don't know how they got, like, I smelled that thing like that. It was unsmoked. Like, I smelled it like that. I don't know how <laughs> they got through security because they didn't detect, like, cannabis on there. Our friend tried to put it in his Christmas presents and wrap all the Christmas <laughs> presents up. 
And then they went through the scanner and they arrested him. I mean, he, they let him go. But they arrested <laughs> him and, and towed him through the airport because it showed up as, like, a like salad. Um, like, organic like matter. Like, organic matter on there. So I don't... Do I had to... Are we, are we like... Do we have, like, perfume now that's cannabis perfume? Or... It was uh, it was unsmoked chronic. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was unsmoked chronic. I smell it. I smell it. But how they got it in there? The world it's like the, it's like the center of the Tootsie Pop. The world may never know. <laughs> it's true. Oh my All gosh. Right, so these are strawberries yes. and cream flavor. I, I have not seen these at the store yet. I've never yet. seen these either, but uh, I love strawberries. White love chocolate strawberries. graham cracker bits and strawberry flavored chunks. I am so excited to put these in my uh, chocolate chip cookie base. I am yes, me too. Because yeah. I love the strawberries. Two bags. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. I am down. I'm so I'm, I am excited for that. <laughs> Includes three types of fun. <laughs> it says so right on you know, it. That's perfect. Uh, the morsels are like white. White chips, strawberry jelly bits, and graham cracker bits. I'm all about it. Uh, Wilton says maybe somebody just had a skunk. Yeah, but how did the skunk get through security? If I can't get three o- uh, seven ounces of jelly through there, <laughs> but you can take the endo <laughs> with endo you. What is going on? What? Endo or endo? I don't know. I think that's what Dr. Dre called it when, like, in the it's 90s. Endo. But. Endos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Um, my life so far vlogs wants to know if the, sh- the shirt on... Is Dan's shirt on spread shirt with the pink head? No, those were limited edition. Uh, we actually hand screen printed those. Um, they are on spread shirt, but I don't. It, Only it's not black. It's not this color. Yes. So the, the pop and pink's not there yet. This one is for you. Oh, thanks. Is it hot? <laughs> Bucky's um, Hill Country brand Bohemian <laughs> Rhapsody. Oh, Bohemian Recipe garlic beef jerky. I mean, because like, what else? Is the stomach ache trifecta without hot chips, tortillas wrapped in chocolate, and and uh, and this? Keep uh, going. Just suggesting that you should put that on spreadsheet in colors. I have suggested that multiple times. It's on spreadsheet, but I think but it's just only in there. black. It's up there, just in black. Oh, the cats. Oh, I don't think they can have that. That smells very mm. garlicky. No, no, I can't, can't have, it. have that. They don't get it anyway. No. That's good. That's really good. Thank you for not sending me like. <laughs> like hell hot stuff. Like a hot chip. <laughs> yeah, I am retired from hot stuff, everybody. Um, I got a bag with all the the talkies and all that stuff. So once I go through that and the Pringles, which we ate at game night, nice. which was a lot of fun. We had game night, and um, that's it. I'm down for jellies, jams, and savory stuff. This hey, is you good. packed the heck out of this, friend. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It smells good. I it's bet just, I love it's garlic, just nice so. to. Eat some jerky that's not like, like hell hot, <laughs> hell hot. Don't feed it too much. Oh no, no, the cats won't get that. What? Do you, what? Do you, want some water? Oh my gosh, do you work at UPS? What is going on here? Oh my gosh, that's good. Ooh, <clears throat> I'm not spicy, but I got a garlic bit. It's almost out. It's almost <coughs> out. Ooh. Mochaccino H-E-B Norios. I have not seen those. That's because we don't have an H-E-B out here. Do you call it H-E-B? Do you call it HEB? I heard it stands for here everything is better. Is that true? Or was that just... Do we have an equivalent? Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you guys... Do I need to... Hold on. Is this... Is this... Is this signed by Charles Butt? Because that says Butt. <laughs> it is. I don't know if this is big enough to show up on camera, but it's got like the maker's signature. Does that say butt? That says butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, I got Topo's cut like halfway quicker today. Okay. So when I make it with my mouth, it does the same thing. This is uh, made with coffee beans. So let's see. I don't know if we're going to love these. I'm going to split one with you because I don't know if I'm going to love it. Yo, I've eaten so much jacked up stuff. Yep, it tastes like coffee mocha. Yeah, it tastes like a cup of coffee. I like it. Um, not my favorite flavor. It literally tastes like I drank a cup of coffee, so nailed it. Absolutely. Amazing texture for an Oreo, a knockoff Oreo. Uh, yes, H-E-B, it is the butt family stores. Oh my God. How do you not just call it the butt store? How do we not have that? Also, <laughs> I like it because I like that mocha taste. I don't want to drink that stuff because it gives me the like cornholios, <laughs> right? Mm. So that's good. I will eat those. That's good to me. Yeah. I want I want to dip that in like the hot chocolate and stuff. 
I do like that. So it's, it's not it's not you terrible. Can, I will give you that. You can keep that around for me. Um, you you're not the biggest fan of that flavor. No, but it's not terrible. I am. It's I also have, like, a chocolate Oreo cookie. So I have a little bit of, of like coffee taste in my mouth, which is good because I don't have to deal with the side effects of it. Right. He says I wanted to make sure they didn't get broken up. Uh, it worked. Uh, it yeah. absolutely worked. Yeah, you like ideally package it. Actually, I'm gonna save some of this packaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to ship stuff. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, best of family. My life's wicked adventure says so. If I send some hot stuff, you won't want it. I mean, I'll eat it, but just like if you have to go and like if you have to go and like acquire new stuff, please and you're don't like, go on the hunt to find the hot. You're like, things. oh look, this one's like lemon lime, and this one's like Ooh. Lucas. You should pick the lemon lime. <laughs> Okay, yes. so these my, ones? My body don't don't need that. Ooh, more? What is this? These are... Thank you for the Norios. It's you know I'm so cool fan. packaging that I've never seen before. Um, yeah, because we don't have HEBs. I don't, I don't think there's an equivalent to it. So these are cinnamon spice cookie with a sweet cream cheese flavored filling. And they oh have like God, a... That sounds they have amazing. something on... Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Cats. Look at the cats. I'm sorry you guys can't have these. If you could, I'd share them with you. It has all kinds of Texas towns on it. I've heard of Fort Worth. I think I've heard of Beaumont, but maybe just because we have one here. College Station I've heard of. Laredo I've heard of. I don't think I've heard of Abilene Hutto? Elotes? You have a town called Elotes? Like the corn? It even has a picture of the corn. Oh, it does. <laughs> uh, oh, and Ennis. Oh my gosh, Topo just jumped so high to try to get that. Yeah, he goes nuts. Oh, whatever, you guys can see more of the counter. These ones are a little bit broken, but they're mostly good. They have stuff on them. I don't care, I just want to taste it. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Your mama, your mama says she needs to try those. <laughs> Ooh, those are good. Mm -hmm. It's my hometown twists, and it has the, the town that on it. Good. And they were different. What that is that flavor? Different. It's like cinnamony. Cinnamon spiced cookie with a I, cream cheese flavored filling. I like it because I don't like gingerbread, but this isn't it. That's a really unique flavor. That's a really I like good. that. Good choice. That's Each a really cookie good is flavor. supposed to have a different town stamped on it. Yes, I did see. Oh, um, she just Godzilla did. Like, there goes Tokyo. I wanted to taste it because it sounded amazing. Yeah, Laredo. Don't worry, Patty. Crystal will bring you some tomorrow. Brownsville tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, is it, uh, it's Monday for me today. <laughs> no, it is Friday. Did I uh, set a timer? Okay, we're good. <laughs> now, now Lady Cat's telling me where each one is. Uh, Abilene's dead central west of Texas. Laredo's south near the border. Beaumont's outside Houston. Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't know where Houston is. You guys Houston know. In the middle. I have no frame of reference at all. Oh, awesome. He even included silica gel to make sure nothing got all uh, gross in there. Oh, dang. Look at this. Bro, you should work for the UPS store. Is it filled with Texas air? Uh, is it? Does it say it? Uh, from air pad. Sometimes, sometimes it'll say where that air is made at, and that's like the air that's filled in there. This is the top. Okay. What up? That reminds me, when I worked at the bike shop, I would change people's tires, and they would fill them up inside their house, and sometimes I'd have to let the air out of it to like do stuff. You can smell the inside of their house if there were a oh, smoker, or if it smelled like cat pee in their house, because it's, <laughs> it's grabbing the air from in the house and putting it in the inner tube. Oh, that's one of the things that, like, probably nobody's ever heard of before to you talk to a bike shop person, but when you let that air out, you're like, oh, man. Like, sometimes you can just, like, smell the nicotine. Can you grab those out? Those cookies look really festive on your plate. They do, don't they? Oh, was that all the cookies? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to the other. Okay. I'm excited for whatever this is just because of the package. I can see it through all of this bubble wrap. No way! <laughs> They're Mexican hot chocolate flavored. That looks elaborate. Which do you want some of this? <laughs> There's still more stuff in here though, so careful. Mexican style fiery chocolate cinnamon flavored cream filled chocolate sandwich cookie. Right. That is a mouthful. Oh, I thought they were going to be shaped like the dude. No, they don't even have a Dia de los Muertos, a little sugar skull or anything on it. Oh. It tastes like cinnamon. 
No, but it's something else. That's weird. Not in a bad way. That's weird. It's fire. It's, it's like Red Hots. Not like cinnamon like you bake with, but like cinnamon candy. Um, or Atomic Fireball? Yes. But not, not Fireball the, not Fireball the... The alcohol? alcohol. Oh, that's interesting. I've never had that flavor before. Oh my gosh. That's really interesting. Good choice. Oh, it's got a little afterkick too. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. It tastes like the Atomic Fireball. Yeah, really good choices, Beer and Bug. Like, never had these flavors before. That is crazy. T that is the craziest wow. taste. That's a new taste for me. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah, when I first put it in my mouth, I'm like, what? You know, you try to place what the flavor is. I couldn't place it. Wow. Just gonna sit there and pretend like you want water. Good choices. Thank that you. That was that was interesting. Okay. I feel like this is one that like like you should like you gotta take one to work for everybody. You'd be like, look at this flavor. They don't appreciate it. Oh yeah. They're all a bunch of boys. Well, man, man children. Wow, that is really interesting. While I'm battling with this, let me tell you guys a story. So my um, now 81 year old boss that I absolutely adore. Oh, careful, because there's something in there still. I don't know what it is. There is, like, no stopping him. Like, no, there is not. As soon as I left, he, like, went feral again. <laughs> so, I told you guys about my old man boss that I absolutely love, Mr. Joe. He's the best. Um, he decided he's going to make a piece of stained glass for his wife for Christmas, which I absolutely adore. And so all week we were planning it out, and he asked me to, like, come up with a color scheme, and I was in there at work. I was literally getting paid to, to like, color <laughs> and show him what it would look like with different color schemes. Um, he came in one day, and he said... So I, I went on your YouTubes. So in case you guys are wondering, this right here, my YouTubes. He went on my YouTubes and was watching a video about how to make stained glass. And he really learned a lot. He was so impressed. You can learn a lot from your YouTubes. So he knows we do live shows and uh, now apparently it's my YouTubes. I love it. He's kind of the best. Oh, I can see it, but I can't get to it. Uh, Mexican chocolate usually has cinnamon and cayenne in it. Yeah, that was definitely the kick. Uh, the flavor of the other cookies might be spoiling the flavor of the hot chocolate cookies. Um, I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, don't worry, we'll, we'll eat more of them later. Yes, isn't that such an awesome and wholesome story? I love it. Every day I'm just like, I adore you. You're just my favorite. And he keeps talking about, he's retired, so he just does like little side jobs and stuff. Little like... Oh, you, you built a patio and you didn't get a permit? I'll, I'll do the, like, calculations to show that it's permitted or whatever. And, like, just little small side things. But he keeps talking about, oh, I should retire. Dude, I'm going to be so sad if he actually retires and doesn't come to work anymore. And he was talking about it today. I should just quit this. And the other boss man, the vice president, was like, you can't quit. Like, then what are you going to do? You're just going to sit at home. And, yeah, I reminded him, yeah, you can't do anything right at home. Your wife will tell you that. So I'm, I'm on the train of, like, do not quit. Just come hang out with me for a few hours every day. Like, we'll, we'll hang out. Ooh. Strapple jam. What? <sighs> Look, my friends. I love that you guys purchased the sticker packs and everything. Um, nobody put an address. <laughs> Not one person put an address in the notes <laughs> they of just every sticker pack I sold. you could figure it out. <laughs> it's not, like, down in there somewhere? No. Amanda put notes, stickers. <laughs> uh, guys, slide into uh, Dan's DMs and uh, love you guys. your address. I and just, whatever name shows up on there. I just... Uh, yeah, you look like, there's like, it's the one little detail missing. <laughs> the important one. <laughs> Hannah said it didn't ask. But, but we need to know. <laughs> if you guys sent us a, a card, we may have it if we can match it up. If we No, no. Email us uh, your address and, and whatever name showed up there. Email, direct message, whatever. Yeah, make sure. What I package them up, I'll figure them out. Streamlining. Out the window. Oh, somebody sent more than seven ounces? <laughs> you can mail it. You just can't fly Through with the it. Air? Um, it's Strapple Jam. Apples, strawberries, lime juice, sugar, and pectin. I am excited for this. I'm trying it. What did Jesse? My parents. Have strength. My parents sent uh, She said that uh, she loves hot chocolate cookies, and her parents make oh. them for Christmas every year. Oh, my gosh. When we were at that cool chocolate place, they had homemade hot cocoa bombs. 
Have yeah. you seen those where you put them in the milk? Yeah, I talked they, to you about making them, remember? They looked amazing. They looked amazing. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like I'm in trouble for mentioning how Because <laughs> I talked they look. about making them and you were like, meh. Okay, so in this story that's not about you, I saw these with my own eyes and they looked amazing. Awesome. That's it. Okay. That's it. Cool story. This had bro. nothing to do with you not making them <laughs> at all. Um, beer and bug, I need to know, did you make this yourself? Oh, he says I sent the wrong jam. It was supposed to be pear from the tree in my backyard. Um, I don't care. I'm excited for strapple jam. What is it? I'd be down for pear too, but mm. you. I like how it's a new spoon. Because it's going in here and I don't want your mouth juices in here. Oh. But I was going to like load up the spoon and then we could both have some. I'm not afraid of your mouth juices. I just don't want it in here getting bacteria. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's really good. It's got a good texture. It's not preservative. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, that is so good. Right. Oh my gosh. I like that. So, yeah. You, oh, no. Nah, a buddy of mine from Twitter made it. That's amazing. Yeah, your Twitter I'm, friend made I'm this I'm happy you sent the but wrong now, one. I would be down for pear, too, but that's amazing. Put that directly into the fridge, because I will be using okay. the heck out of that. Thank you, thank you. That thank is you. good. That is really good. So far, you're, you're like... So far, you're like 10 for 10. Yeah. <laughs> Julio's corn tortilla chips original season try with Julio's queso I don't have Julio's queso okay so what's the deal are these like local to Texas it says made for Julio's I've never seen this brand it's Julio's and Lila <laughs> and we all know that she probably made them not him he's just he's just sitting there chilling <laughs> Julio and Lila Garcia. So, what's the gimmick on these? Originally seasoned? Just know. some good chips? Lilia, not Lila. I don't know. I'm waiting. <laughs> Tales from the Tax said, I missed the hot chip, Dan. Right down there. Just scroll on back. Uh, Beer and Bug says, I gave him like five pounds of pears from my tree, and he gave me half a dozen jars and some extra stuff he made. That well, sounds like a good trade. is amazing. Let him know I Wait, absolutely no, no. approve of stuff. I talkies everywhere. You cut that open. Okay. With the scissors. I'm going to pull it open, and it's going to blow up. This guy thinks it's for him. It is not for you. Did you just sift tortilla chips? Well, yeah, because there's like bits on the bag, and I can't tell if it's just salt, or is it... Because it says seasoned. Original season. I'm a little hesitant. Yeah, you're good. These are really good. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. They got good flavor to them. They're not too salty. <laughs> hey, it has your favorite seasoning. Cayenne? Or paprika? <laughs> yeah, the chips seem to just be a Texas theme. Just like the seasoning... <clears throat> They make great uh, struggle nachos. <coughs> Try to choke it up. Something. These are good. I'm sure it's the salt, but they're really Whatever the salt is, it's not boring. It says it's a monosodium glutamate, uh, MSG. <laughs> That's why they're addictive instantly. Salt, paprika, black pepper, garlic, and comino. I don't know what comino is. Mmm, MSG. Wow, what a good package. We'll have a good plot. Yeah, everything in there was amazing. Good job, friend. Oh, that's not for you. No MSG for cats. Those cookies, they're just something else. I don't know how to describe them. Do you guys ever have a chance to try these? And you like cinnamon? Yeah, where's H-E-B? Is, is H-E-B only a Texas thing? Yeah, we're close enough to Texas. We're only like nine hours from Texas. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, we're like nine hours, so it's not that far. I mean, it's like six hours to go up. There's only like nine, I think, to go that way to Texas. But Texas is huge. He um, says, I think it's just like taco seasoning. A little different, I think. Um, whatever it is, it's, it's like perfectly like balanced What's with the, the MSG. Chip. Uh, these things. You guys gotta try these cookies. <clears throat> that is a unique flavor I've never ever heard had in my mouth before. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, send me your address so I can send you back stuff. Wow. Mexican style fiery cinnamon flavored cream filled chocolate sandwich cookies. Wow. What an elevator pinch on that one. 
Uh, yes, H-E-B is a Texas thing. Yeah, only in Central and South Texas. I need to go wake Chris up. Oh, leave him be. Let him be. Let him be. We haven't watched that. We haven't watched that, uh... Beatles documentary on Apple Plus. Maybe we'll put that on after this. I don't know. But Jess did show me this weird, super weird movie from the Beatles. It was called Across the Weird Weirdiverse. Weird, weird verse. And that was interesting. I'm going to have to show that one to Crystal. I'm going to have to show that one to Crystal. Uh, I did watch Frozen and Frozen 2. Frozen was really good. I liked Frozen. Even though the animation was potato. Uh, I really like Frozen. Frozen 2 didn't have the, a good story. But Frozen did. Alright. Okay. Can I read this out loud? Okay. Okay, so I was going to do this whole bug box spoof thing, but it's taken me so long to get everything together and find boxes to send it to send it in that I got lazy about it. Oh my gosh, a bug box with like cool like like uh like VW bugs or like am I going to have to eat chocolate covered like <laughs> crickets? God, oh my gosh. I've included three flavors of Canorios <laughs> that recently discovered in a love. I know y'all ain't big on coffee flavors, but I decided to send some of the macchiato. Nope. Macchiato? Nope. Mm. Uh, ones <laughs> anyway, uh, because the chocolate flavor plays well with the coffee. No biggie if you don't like it. I will. I want like hot chocolate, and then like I'll dip it in there. Cause like I said, I don't want the effects of the chocolate, but that gets the taste in my mouth. Sometimes when Terry's here, she'll have one of those Starbucks prepackaged like things with the Snapple lid things, and I'll like get a little swig of that just to like get that in my mouth. <laughs> um, we did have an entire day of TV watching during recovery. Yeah, right. Across the un universe, I don't think when I explained it to Crystal, she never heard of that one. Which one? Across the universe is like a oh, yeah. the musical with the Beatles stuff in it. Uh, it was really weird, not in like a bad way, but it just like well, that was weird. Um, uh, okay, anyway, okay. Uh, the jerky is for the boys. Uh, Blake will Blake will like it too. Blake is a jerky fan. Um, another favorite of mine. <laughs> And the regular and teriyaki flavors just taste like all the others to me. This one did taste very garlicky, which, like I said, I appreciated it. The pear jam is some a buddy from mine from Twitter made. Okay, like he said, he pretty much said the whole letter in the oh, in yeah. the thing. Finally, the chips are favorite of mine too. They make excellent nachos. You know what? We might have to do nachos this week because we got all that ground beef, and then uh, no, we have pork. Pork, pork, yeah, pork. Yeah, we pork. didn't give me beef this year. Only pork. No, I bought some ground beef. Remember, I split it. Oh yeah, and that's put it in the right. fridge. Um, haven't tried the salsa they advertise on the bag yet. Don't know if I'll ever find anything to eclipse the on the border brand salsa. I haven't had that. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sending this to yeah, me. Yeah, everything was a thank hit. You. I'm really Every, excited for those. Everything was a hit, and I love I love everything strawberry. I love the strawberry frosting. I love the strawberry cake. Sometimes I make you make me a strawberry cake. You Once I see that color of 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 pink, I'm like excited. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Those success good. yeah good job and great thank you success so much. i really, uh -huh. really appreciate everything in here no, yeah everything will be consumed um that jelly will be gone fast that jelly will for be gone sure. fast that's amazing which we should Tell eat it fast because it has no preservatives in yes, it yes absolutely mm -hmm. what what uh, Sky Dreamer says, Crystal, you're the best cat mom a cat could ever love. Aw, thank you. I'm sure mom cat would have given you a kiss if she was a tame cat for caring for her baby. Oh, I hope so. Look at this guy. Accordion cat. By the way, <laughs> you're smaller because Memphis is bigger than you. You always come back and say the cats are so tiny. My last week of adventure says Topo has bunny feet. Uh, he'll kick like a bunny too. Yeah. It's a little bunny kick. What's up with your nose? Did you get thumped? Why you got that? Why you got that? Why you got that? It was either Kitty or Kamiko for sure. Yep. He's been really testing Kitty the last week, just pushing, trying to get in there, and she's not having it. Maybe he was mad that I was gone. Kamiko is the most stoked to see me. As soon yeah. as I got home, she came and hopped on the counter and she was rubbing up all over me. And then I tried to make that clip and I picked her up and she was like, you let me down! <laughs> oh, um, Mooch was okay. Mooch was around. Topo did come up to me and then sometimes he'll run scared like, who's this? And uh, and then I didn't see Rizzo the next day. Do Rizzo wasn't about it. Even when I saw her and I went over to pet her the next day, she raised her head up, got her <laughs> pets and put her head back down on the Jillo and just was, was chilling. That's where she's at now. She's been there. Uh, she's been there the whole night. On the border, queso is freaking amazing. So, is, does, Amanda, does that mean it's made it to um, Arizona? Which I flew over your state. That's where all the turbulence was, too. I don't it know if Alexis so much, is still watching but Topo's play with the toys. It was so much turbulence. So much turbulence. Yeah, over Arizona? 
Uh, yeah. When we left the train, <clears throat> there was turbulence, and then it was cool for a bunch. Uh, it was turbulence the whole way, like, like just when you were, like, watching a movie or something like that. It was like... And then you're like, oh, and I got a window seat, so I'd be like, bloop! And it was <laughs> all... Going on out there? Oh, I don't like that. But when we got towards, like, that last quarter where, like, the mountains are all there and stuff like that, when we started going over, like, Arizona, uh, it was, like, super, super turbulent. And I was trying to watch that movie Bill, with Scrooge by, with Bill Murray. Oh, that movie's the worst. <clears throat> no, yeah, you said like you that. flew over by state, too. I did. I was like, ah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I did, I did fly over. <laughs> I did fly over your state. Okay, so we did get... Are we able to go and edit the notes? Is that why? Is that what happened? We'll see. Okay. If you guys can edit the notes in your uh, Venmo or PayPal purchase, see if that's an option to add your address in there. Is that a thing? Yes. Awesome. Uh, is it? Maybe not. I don't no, know. I don't oh, wait. Know. Yes, because there's a comment. You can. You can comment like. Um, <laughs> Look, there's like a, oh, that's, you can't even see it. There's a little, like, it says social activity, and there's a little, like, talk bubble that you can comment. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. So comment there, please. Okay. Yeah, even if we've sent you something before, we don't keep your guys' addresses, like, you know, for your own security and privacy. We don't keep them, so send your address. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah, see, some of you, some of you are editing. Uh, Chris says, uh, turbulence, if you see that plane a-rockin', don't come a-knockin'. <laughs> I was gonna ask the weed guy <laughs> in the back. Yeah, bit? like, hey, man. No. no, I was okay. I was surprisingly okay. Like, like it's, the a cl- a, the airplanes have been crashed in America in decades. Like, even going back to, like, 9-11. Like, I don't think, like, a, a international, like, regular plane has crashed since then. International's between countries. Is it? Domestic. Is, Domestic? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, I'm not too worried. Like, they're not going to take off. They're not. It's like, it's... it's. What's that? The cat's going... <laughs> the cat's going crazy. So, I'm getting a lot better on the airplanes. Like, he goes crazy um, switching. I didn't want there to be turbulence, but I wasn't, like, freaking out like I've done before on planes. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Especially yeah. since I just got off that little John Denver plane that got de-iced through the snow. Like, I'm, like, so, I feel okay about that. But you still are, like, helpless on there. Like, it's just like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm uh, looking out the window, like, what's going on? But then once I start getting towards, because once you fly over the Hannah States, it's just dark <laughs> on the ground. There's no, it's just dark on the ground. But once you start getting into like the West Coast, there's lots of lights and like like you can see people like with bonfires on the ground and hanging out down there. It is that you know it's it's that close. Your eyes can see really well. Right. So um, I would people like I you know towards the end after I watched I watched like Suicide Squad and then I watched like ten minutes of like five other movies <laughs> <laughs> and I listen to a podcast because I have noise canceling headphones. So it really, like, you know, like, butts out everything. And then I just peeked out, just watch, and just watch the watch the ground and the lights and just look. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Chris, what else you got to say? I think that's it. Is it? I, yeah. Do you want to just, like, go forever because you got to talk to people on camera? I'm, um, I talked for out of st- three straight that's days. That's right, you did. And then shut eight, up for the rest of the week. Ten hours a day. Oh, yeah. I think that Monday we got back. After we drove through, like, Hellstorm, uh, that Monday we got back, I don't know, we didn't really say much words. It was a pretty chill day. So <laughs> I did 16 hours there with layovers and getting to Jess's house. Then I did, like, three hours down to Novi and, like, five hours and change back to Novi and another 16 hours there. I did, like, 40-something hours of, 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 of traveling. That's ridiculous. Um, but those three days, I didn't shut up. It was, like, like the, the max live stream you've ever seen times every second that it was open and then afterwards afterwards i was before i went out there i was like oh dude we'll do something afterwards there was like a sushi bar there or people can come back and we'll hang out uh-uh no <laughs> <You're done. laughs> no Wiped no out. just would like order food like right before it ended and the food would be there like right when it ended and we'd go up and we would just eat a bunch of food and we watched like, a little bit of hockey or something like that and 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 talk about the day and then yeah, i'd shuffle greg and i'd shuffle over to our room and then uh I shared a room with Greg, and then inside there, him and I just spent like the next hour and a half talking about uh, like I don't know, television. Like Die Hard was on, and like a crappy Fantastic Four movie was on, and we just <laughs> talk hours about movies and people and films and stuff like that. I really enjoyed hanging out with Greg. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was so much fun. Awesome. Uh huh. 
Haha, ha, state sc- Yeah, Hannah's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> Hannah says, I'm too tipsy to figure out how to add a comment for my address. I sent Dan a DM on Facebook. That's good enough, friend. That works. Uh, Sour Patch Pack with the super chat. Thank you, friend. Hi. Haven't been on in a while. How's everyone doing? We're doing well. We yeah. made some cookies. We opened some it, gifts. It's a very, event- very eventful live stream. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, Dan ate the hot chip. So if you missed that, make sure you guys go back and watch that bit. Uh, Alisa is here and says, miss you guys. We miss you too. Thank you for popping in. Uh, what else did I miss? I tried to tell you it was exhausting. I'm like, I could do it. And Steve's like, you're going to want to sit down. I'm like, I'm not sitting down the whole time. And then I sat some. Most of, <laughs> I sat behind the table because I don't like sitting in chairs. I sat behind the table, like, you know, with the legs out to the side when I would shove food in my mouth. And oh my gosh, like, I, I, I... I ate, like, sub sandwiches so quick. I was just, 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 <laughs> And then, like, I'd go sit with people that were petting the dogs and stuff like that just to kind of hang out with them. Katie says, but, I was exhausted myself. PJ says, I slept so hard every night. <laughs> I know, right? We went the whole time. Like, all you guys, like, we we went. And I was just like, blah, 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 blah. But there was, like, maybe it was, like, a Monday at some point. I remember going over to the table and just doing this. Oh, I just kind of, like, sitting for a minute and then I don't know I think Jess sent a picture over to Steve of me sitting down or he saw one of me tagged on social media of me sitting down Katie says it was like the best time ever I'll think about it forever that was fun Yay. yeah I was glad I finally got to meet Katie that was good everybody uh, Mel Shane and Bjorn Bug both sent their addresses we yes thank you <laughs> uh, Sour Patch Pack says I'll have to scroll back my kid just ate hot Cheetos and asked me why hot food was a thing <laughs> wait till you see that chip those are life goals. How many hawks are the cookies a crystal made down? Like four out of five hawks? Yeah. Maybe four and a half because I'm only comparing them to sugar cookies because they just taste pretty much... They're in the same right. family, right? But the sugar cookies are like... clack. This one was just like... Like fresh. Right. And I like that. Like, I, I like that. So like four, four and a half. You, you didn't seem like you were too impressed with them. But like compared to like... It didn't have the flavor of like any of these had. It's it's very basic. Um, I feel like there's nothing... Nothing particularly good or bad to say about them Look like it's festive. a cookie Look how Check. this screams christmas absolutely they're definitely pretty yes i do like that that screams yeah. christmas yeah that absolutely me, they, they look good um you could fancy them up any way you wanted right. like i said people had like m&ms in them people had chocolate drizzle over them you could do all kinds of stuff with this cookie base it's not a bad cookie base it's i don't want to say boring because it's not bad it's not like oh those are boring and i don't want them they're just middle of the road like Nobody's going to not oh, like them. They're, yeah, everybody's going to like them, and the colors are great. Uh, Jess yes. says it was 100% the highlight of 2021 for me. Yeah, me too, then. Yeah, uh, yeah, to, that, yeah, that was that was great. It was a great time. Katie's sister was there? Or no? Yes. Uh, she said, my sister was like, how is he like this all the time? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, no. it's 100 miles an hour and crash. It's no <laughs> caffeine, no, nothing. No, this no is No caffeine, Dan. no coke. <laughs> uh, no, like no, oh, no, nothing. No, nope, this, no, this nothing. is Dan. That is just. But me. after, Dan, like Dan shuts off when it's bedtime. Dan's just off. Like he sits down, his eyes shut, and he's done. Um, Dan, how was riding the luggage car at the hotel? P.S. I'm sure the hotel frowned on you all day. Um, that was fun because Jess was the engine and she was pushing it. Um, and um, everybody loves me when my hair is up. So I, it's I call it. A, oh, I can't say what I call it. But it's, 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 when my hair's up, like, I, it's just free pass to be, like, whatever. You know how Bill Murray can just get away with anything? The, the, the hair up is, privilege. yeah, yeah, is, is the same thing. Like, it's just instantly, like, fun time. So, no, they didn't mind this luggage cart going through the, th- going through their hotel, which I love the hotel. Five out of five. The hotel had instant hot water and fast Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh, the Wi-Fi was, was fast. Yeah, yes, it was. So no, uh, I'm sure they. I'm sure they didn't. Ca- I'm sure they didn't care. I we took it back down and I put it exactly back where we got it from. Um, so, but no, it's yeah. Beth is here and says no. I was such a lovely time. That's right. You said you met Beth as well. Uh, yes, we did. Yes, we got to hang out. That was a lot of fun. Bjorn Beck says shortbread is kind of bland compared to regular sugar cookies and super buttery. Sounds like you nailed it, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Like, they're not bad. They did no, not, not come burnt, out bad at all. They're not overcooked. There was um, no OMGs. But it's... you see the stuff that I make. I like stuff with more more kick to it. More like, oh my god, this is amazing because it has this thing in it. And, you know, like something with the caramel or the, the glitter shooting all out in your mouth or something. Like, they're all right. Ooh, <laughs> Jess says, uh, Crystal, I sent you a photo uh, to your phone. Uh-oh. <laughs> she sent it to me as in I'm gonna 
show it off and you might not. Oh, <laughs> the lady uh, behind the concession counter was concerned about my health with all the caffeine I had. Um, I did have soda. I had like syrup, miss, but I didn't have like any like Coke stuff. Uh, this is her proof that Dan goes from 100 to zero pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's photoshopped. Uh, no. That's photoshopped. She's a proof that he does sleep. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that was photoshopped. Yes. Yes, that's that's Dan. Just... Uh, he'll sit down. I'm, I'm not sleeping. I'm, I just need to rest for a minute. Okay. And then... uh, a couple times in the car. Maybe when I got off the plane and when I was... Every time we were in the car, uh, that we went anywhere far, I think at some point Jess is like... She fell asleep for a little bit. I'm like, did I? Oh, you're always sometimes I'll like close aware. my eyes for a second, and then I'll open them up, and it'll be like a, a minute later, 30 seconds later. Remember when I went out there, and then like we stayed up all night to mm-hmm. drive to the airport real early in the morning, and she and I were laughing and had bets on like, what was it, like nine minutes until you were going to fall asleep, and I don't even think you made it that far. Like, yeah. Dan's like a baby in the car, just like, oh, I don't mind if I do. Like, most of the time when we go places, you'll sit in the back and put Blake in the front, because you know you're going to fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. No, you're not supposed to see that. That's, that <laughs> uh, would be into the wall. Says we should sh- throw some of that strawberry morsel stuff into some of that dough. I want it in the chocolate chip cookie. I want it in the chocolate dough. chip cookie. But yeah. I want it in chocolate-based cookies, not white-based cookies. Really? Like the ones I put the, the caramel chips in? A chocolate cookie with I that? I want it in a chocolate okay, cookie. Okay, we've got two bags of it. We can do yeah. a chocolate and a regular. That would mm-hmm. be interesting. With white chocolate and graham cracker. Yeah, I like it. I'm on board. Uh, Cyber Husky says, Nobody was so much fun. My first time bringing a dog with me, and the first time, excuse me, Mr. S came too. I liked him. I liked him. He's he's so nerdy. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, even on the way home from Alpina. To Alpina. To Alpina from Novi. How could you sleep in that? I don't think I slept through that, and I don't know if Jess and I said any words. Like, it was so crazy, and like, <laughs> this was the first time that, like, nobody was stoked. Like, Jamie wasn't the stokedest, Greg wasn't the stokedest. Jess wasn't the stoked. Because they'll do, like, they protect me. But they were showing their cards. They're like, yeah, it's, you know, it might be this. It might be that. It's going to, you know, go slow. And should we go on this road? Should we take that road? And I just sat there. Were you concerned that they were being cautious? And Jess was like, just Jamie, like, I got precious cargo in the car. Not you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> she made sure to clarify that. But I will say the dogs didn't make a peep. They just laid back there and they were done the whole time. Because, you know, they had three days of, of chaos as well. They were done the whole time, too. That ride was fluff and scary. Um, you guys did a pretty good job on, like, making me feel like not... She said fluff and scary. Not, not too scared, but, like, that was a slow-going ride home. We were, we were fine. Like, we went slow and stuff like that. I didn't see a bunch of cars off the road, unlike when we went to the airport. I didn't see a bunch of cars off the road. But it was... Uh, it was definitely, like... It's like when the adults, like... Like, all the adults are in charge, and then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, like, the adults don't, like, they're showing weakness. <laughs> and so, it was a little like that. So, maybe that's why the plane ride didn't, didn't really scare, didn't really, like, get to me. What happened that uh, PJ says Kira does not like people on stilts? Okay, oh, hold on. Cyber Husky says, Nobody was so much fun. My first time bringing a dog with me, and my, fr- oh, wait, you did. Yes. Um, Gilly Doo was really good, and cute, too. Oh, my gosh, cute, too. I had a good time hanging out with you as well. Um, there was, okay, first of all, uh, oxymoron is what it's called. Um, there was a leprechaun on stilts. <laughs> so, right. Like a little person? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, just dressed like a leprechaun? You know, it was a lady, probably about your, mm, probably about your mom's height. Okay. Uh, you know, probably like five, th- three, I, you can't tell because they're on you stilts. You think my mom's five, three? I don't That's know. That's cute. <laughs> like, so she was kind of, sh- she was like, just like, five something, you know, just. Right. And she was like. She had to be, like, in her 50s or so, right? And she's on stilts. The stilts went to about here. And then she's up there in the air, and she's all like, oh, ho, ho, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> and she's all dressed. Like, the stilts have a gimmick pants on, so they're, like, striped. Right. But she's dressed, like, almost in a dantic suit, but it's green like a leprechaun. Right. Which, I asked what I, that's the only thing I had a problem with. It's the only <laughs> thing I had a problem with is leprechauns aren't supposed to be up there like that. Right. They're you supposed know. to be tiny. He, yeah, even the Lucky Charms guy, I guess he'd ride the, you know, he'd ride the rainbow to his, his pot of gold. But mm-hmm. she was walking around like, hey, hey, which is dangerous because every dog comes with a rope. Like every dog going by has got a rope attached to right. it, right? So she's just walking around and stuff like that. And then she comes over by the booth and Kira's like, nope. I heard the snap. Boom. Nope. And just, like, was not having it. And was just kind of like, oh. And I'm like, dude, I feel you. Like, this is, like. like and she was a nice lady. Out. Right. And then she'd come and hang out. And we're all just kind of like, all right, go to the next booth. 
Um, I asked her the second or third day. She comes lumbering over, and I'm like, "Hey, uh, how you feeling?" Because like she's not walking. Right. She's like she's not walking. She's like doing this. She's like, like she's like yeah. stepping, and she's like, I, I feel so bruised up and everything. You can tell it was like you have to like lumber over. Yeah. She was not a big girl at all. Mm. She was not. I feel like you were bigger than her. Right. Like I, she was not a big girl, and she was not like a, <laughs> a kid, you know. That's Jamie crazy. and I kept calling each other to discuss the route. Get us off the expressway. It didn't matter though. Every way had snow on it. Um, whenever she came by, I just smiled. LOL. I wasn't having it either. <laughs> I didn't mind. I didn't mind that. Katie was terrified too. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mind it. I, I like. She was. She was bringing smiles. No different than me, and no different. Like she was trying to bring smiles. That was just her gimmick. She was trying to bring smiles, and I don't know where she was at. If somebody hired her, she wasn't handing out business cards. Which she would have probably had a paper airplane <laughs> down to me. But she wasn't handing out business cards and everything. I don't know what like she was doing there. You know. Interesting. So yeah, it was. It must have been cool to be that tall to like look around though. But she would just come, you know, walking around. But she had to have been tired. She did laps after laps after laps. I felt like That's it crazy. was... What's that? That's crazy. Yeah, it was like Shadow of the Colossus. It was, <laughs> I was waiting to see what was going to take her down. <laughs> what was going to stab her in the top of the head? Yeah, I had nothing. <laughs> yeah. She was nice, just the puppy. Right? The first day Kira was fine with her. Jamie even... Uh, picked her up to see her. That's right. The second day, she was full on terrified. I had to have Jamie come calm her down. She was like not having it. Shoot. Yeah, she was not having it. Uh uh. Uh, BRM Bug says, That reminds me, your Christmas light suit was fire. I wish they came in in a size me. It was cool. I just got it off of Amazon. Everybody asked me where I got it from. I was right off of Amazon. Right off of Amazon, the sizes are freaking chaos. You might as well just order every size and figure out which one fits yeah, and your, send it back. Yeah, your medium was smaller my, than your my small. My medium was smaller than the small, and I'm not a small. <laughs> right. But I wore the small suit. Oh, I do have it, though. It needs to go in the wash. Uh, maybe I'll wear it again. I, I, I don't... Uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, but I do have it. It was fun. It was like... That was like 40 bucks. It was, it, It's like thin, so... Because it was really hot in there, so I was really concerned about going like, man... On the second day, I'm I'm gonna like I'm gonna be hot, but it was it was perfect, it was perfect. I must have missed a still walker. Yeah, you just didn't look up. <laughs> I don't remember seeing one. Would have been good training opportunity. No, it wouldn't. No. Why would you? Know, you don't have to train your dog. To, to, you'll never see another one again. You'll never see another one again. Oh, yep. reaction. Look at oh, that's a whole. That, and that was under like the. The runner off the table. Right, right. Yes. Just hiding under it. Aww. Yes. Uh, yeah, you don't need to train your dog. You're never going to see someone on stilts again. That was it. <laughs> that was your, that, that was it. Yeah, that's right. PJ was walking around in shorts. Who, PJ, like, got two inches taller since last time I saw him. <laughs> Did he? He's got to be, like, 6'3". Yeah. Um, that's weird. I don't imagine it. Like, everybody's taller than me, but, like, you know, six feet and above. I'm like, whoa, you're really tall. And I, I imagine him being just, like, normal. Like, you're... Height. I like, mean, we hung out, like, we, we went and got ice normal, cream and stuff the first time I met him, and the second time I only met him for just a minute right outside the airport. But yeah, I, I, I thought he was, like, right here with me. Ah, oh, he's tall. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's tall. But you guys all have to, you guys will hear the recap of all the stuff that we did, uh... On the CC Mouse podcast, I'm sure we'll have all these, we'll talk about all these stories. It's gonna be a long, for, it's gonna be a long first episode. It is. I'm sure everybody will appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I'm six, two and a half. I Jeez. haven't grown in 16 years. I don't know, man. I think you grew like three inches since last time I saw you, dude. <laughs> Poor Kira, oven fan times 100. Yes. <laughs> yes. But what is it? You know, what? what is it about, like, just, is it just the aura? Was it the movement of just the waddle? Or, because the lady was not, like, she was nice. Oh, yeah. Thanks for linking link the CC Mouse podcast. All right. Was that it? Are we good? I'm done. I'm fading. Any okay. real food. I've only eaten cookies and snacks. Well, that was a lot of fun. It was great meeting all of you guys. Thank you for all the, like, cool snacks and <laughs> all the, like, cough drops and, oh, the tissues. Everyone has to saving the tissues. I was like, man, I need some <laughs> tissues. And then she showed up with a bag that had some tissues in it. I'm like, yeah. That's, yeah. Handy. That's really handy. Yes, yes. That was fun. Okay, well, thank you guys so much. Um, and then um, da- uh, tune into Dantix tomorrow. It'll yeah, be a Christmas Carlson's. episode of Dantix. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. And then, uh... Again, uh, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Alexis, for the cat toys, the cat treats. Clearly, they all loved everything. Um, thank you for the shirt. That is amazing. 
And uh, BR Bug nailed it. Like, best combination yeah. of things in a box ever. That you was, you absolutely nailed it. Thank good. you so much. Um, the cookies, they're okay. <laughs> they're, like, not well, bad. Yeah, we were doing a cookie oh, show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember we made cookies somewhere in there in the beginning? Uh, the recipe is on the Game Maker Crystal Pinterest page if you want to try them. Like I said, they're probably fun to make with kids and just let them sprinkle stuff into the little troughs you make with the, the fork. Real simple to make. Um, basic ingredients. So I, I recommend them. They're not the best, mm-hmm. but they're not the worst. Come back, Dan. I'm gone. <laughs> thank you guys so much for the super chats, and thank you guys so much for the chat chats. Yeah, thanks for, for the support, for showing up. Uh, Chris says, welcome back. You were both missed. Thank you. We missed you guys. Honestly, mm-hmm. like, this is what we do, and this is our interaction, and we didn't talk to you guys for, like, a week and a half, so thanks for showing up. Yeah. <laughs> they get a Blake meh. Pretty much, yeah. Blake would not be impressed with I them for thought sure. They were, so. I, I think you were underselling it. I think that they were really good. They're not. No, it's not that they're not good. They're just not like, oh my god, you have to try this. Like, look, I have made s'mores sandwich cookies. You want me to be impressed by a butter cookie? Okay. They're all right. Fair They're enough. not bad, like, at all. I will eat them. They'll, they'll get eaten for sure. Fair enough. But, Fair you know, enough. they're no s'mores sandwich cookie or ube brownie. That's all. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, guys. We will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, have a great night. I uh, hope you enjoy the pancake mix. Yes, we will definitely uh, make those this weekend and report back. I'll let you know, or it'll be in a vlog or something. It's only been a week and a half. Yeah, I think so. We were here two Tuesdays ago. Two Tuesdays ago? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, we did a Tuesday. Hey, look, guys, I don't remember. No, we did a Saturday. I guess it's been almost two weeks, huh? Because we did a Saturday. When does the podcast go live? Uh, when I, it goes live? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Don't worry. Uh, Stay tuned. They'll, don't, they'll let you yeah. know. Yes. The words have not come out of our mouth into our microphones yet, so you're, you're good. Uh, Jess says, when the stream is done, check your Facebook before she crashes. Okay. I got it. When it's all done. Bye, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>